Hello, this is a quick audio check. Um, tell me if you can hear me and the background music, please. Thank you, Crystal. Just checking, I'm checking. I'm doing like a different audio setup today. Hello. Good evening. I didn't turn the tree on. Wait. Hold. Reset. Reset. Now we're good. I forgot. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Or no, it's not morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Hi, Mac. I saw you earlier. I missed you. <laughs> um, like I said, I, I'm farming today. Everybody who joins the stream, if you ha you have to type in chat. I can't see lurkers. So if you type in chat, you get a special treat. You guys want to see what the treat is? We are waiting for Santa today. Hopefully, he comes a little bit early, but we will see. We do have the tracker on screen. He's currently in the U in like Europe in 
Western Europe? Yeah, it's like Norway and shit, so it's gonna be a bit. We're, we're gonna be here a while. Um, but yeah. So what we're doing for everybody who comes in the stream any chatters, you will get a stocking on the tree. You don't have to donate. All you gotta do is type, say hi, put an emote, and we will add you to the tree. That way Santa can give you something when he comes by, right? So... I wrote people's names as they come in. I'll write people's names on the stocking and then I'll hang them up every hour. That way I'm not getting up and down, up and down, right? So we had four people come in and then Matt came in as well. That's also gonna be the pin message for today. So anybody comes in, if you wanna be on the tree, if you wanna get a treat from Santa, possibly, all you gotta do is type in chat. That way we know you're here. Okay, so. Oh, wait, I don't have the tape as I go. We'll, we'll do this during the ad break, like the taping and hanging. That way we can not stall too much. But plan is hopefully Santa comes by. Maybe 9 p.m. Because that's what I looked up. Usually it said Santa comes between like 9 and 12 p.m. Whatever time zone you're in. And since I'm PST, it's going to be a long ass time. Right now it's 4.15ish. So we, we got like at least five hours to kill, okay? So plan for today, we got a lot of stuff to do, loads of shit. We have to do the Animal Crossing Santa Day event. I think we can continue the Naughty or Nice list from yesterday because we only got through like not even a quarter. And then I have to wrap a few presents. I'm debating it or not if I want to make a card because I can totally use a Cricut. I, I, I finally got the little cutting mat for my Cricut, so I could probably do that tomorrow, so I'll think about it. Hi Kirby! We'll add a stocking on the tree for you. Welcome in, hun. Can we get some peace ITUs for Kirby? <laughs> Santa's gonna be mad lit. I know, it sucks that I'm PSD, huh? I mean, I told my sister that I'll be streaming late. Hopefully she understands. Um, yes, yeah, so I gotta wrap some presents. I might make a card, I don't know. And then we'll do like a watch along. We're not gonna watch a movie because that's TOS, right? What we're gonna do instead so on Nickelodeon's YouTube channel, they're just live streaming like um, Christmas cartoon specials. I'm not gonna show it on screen because that's bad. That's how you get clapped. So you know how people do like watch alongs for Amazon where they share the link and they have the timestamp. So I'll just put a link in chat that way people can watch the cartoons along with me, and then I'll just like I'll think about what I do because like I have to add. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, shit, I just ran over something right under the tree. I have all the gifted subs, and I need to add, like, 15 more from the other day. So we'll fold those later, and then I need to add some snowflakes for the bits. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, anybody who gifts or cheers, we add stuff, we add shit to the tree. Okay, so, I think that's the plan for today. I think we can start with Animal Crossing, because, you know, I'm a bit chatty. We're starting late today. I've, I slept in, <laughs> I slept in till, like noon today and by slept in i mean um i just i woke up at eight but then i laid in bed <laughs> okay so i think we can start off with animal crossing first get that out of the way <gasps> oh my god santa tracker's on screen okay i need to get used to this lighting as well because it's not as bright as i'm used to which is kind of nice but because i i'm trying a different audio setup today because i have um my headphones connected to my TV. I mean, you guys can still hear the game because I'm outputting everything to the stream. But I'm going to try connecting my headsets to the TV. That way I don't have to like disconnect and reconnect throughout the stream because that's annoying as fuck. <sighs> it's been a while since we've played Animal Crossing. It's been a long while. Okay, I think... Should I change my category or should I stay in just chatting? <laughs> I always feel like different about changing categories because, like, obviously you can farm more in just chatting, but... I don't know. Let's change the title, too. Let's do Santa Day. But we'll change the title throughout, that way people coming in know what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> Aurora- wait, I have an update about- oh, it's Toy Day! Fuck! It's Toy Day, not Santa Day. Screw Santa, honestly. Okay, I fixed the title now. Toy day. Toy day. 
Oh, it's been so long. I think it's been like nearly a week and a half since we played, huh? Okay. Happy Toy Day, everyone! I'm so glad I get to celebrate this day with you! Right now in Timbaland, it is 4.17pm on Saturday, December 24th, 2022. I heard Santa's helper is visiting the island today. I also heard he brought a magic bag full of presents. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Yeah, all the cookies got eaten, thank fucking god. I got scared because my sister had to leave work early. Because as you know, there's like a, a, a wind, or not a windstorm, an ice storm. So I'm sure everybody has seen like the, the people sliding on the ice in Seattle. I'm not in Seattle, but everybody just, everybody that's from Washington just says they're from Seattle, you know? Um, so she got to leave work early at like noon. Um, she had to do errands anyway, so she didn't get home till her normal time. But it was, I was like, please, I pray to God that all the cookies got eaten. Well, she, like, since she only had, like, three dozen, she, like, individually handed them out to people, which is good. Yeah, chatter spam, because today might be the last day we have Christmas emotes. Or maybe I'll keep them till the end of the month. I'm, I'm still thinking. Okay, my phone is ringing. Oh, my God. I'm absolutely psychotic. I stayed up till literally 11.30 p.m. playing Animal Crossing. Look, we sent a payment of 518,000 bells. So, I was trying to clear out my inventory... And I crafted, like, literally hundreds, hundreds of, like, cooked goods. That way you could clear my inventory. Because I'm crazy. Okay, since it's basically Christmas, we can change our fit. Dude, where's Santa at now? Oh, is it Africa? What? We gotta change our fit. I have so many Christmas outfits, I don't know which one to choose. I think I want to wear the Christmas tree one. Yeah, right here. <laughs> oh, I was watching a few videos on TikTok, and they were making, like, Christmas-themed sweaters. And instead of, like, sewing, they use like, bleach and then um, clothing paint or fabric paint. And it looked really pretty. And I was thinking, I was like, damn, I could have done that for sweaters. Ooh, are, do I have the star bobber? Oh, I don't. Like, how cute would it be if I had the star topper? Damn. Oh, wait, I do. I do. Perfecto. Or does the hat look better? I think that looks a little bit better. It looks like the point of the tree. I kind of want to drink coffee. Um, I would say don't. You know, VOD will be published, so don't worry. Oh, dude, that looks so fucking ugly. I look like a librarian. I think it's funny how the glasses are, like, downturned as well. We'll use it. We'll use it. Ain't no way! Huh? Ten gifted? What the fuck? Mac, you're crazy! Thank you for the ten gifted? Dude, you're crazy. You're not allowed anymore now. That better have been your present. But thank you, Mac. I appreciate it. Can we get some wax in chat? Ten gifted? You're insane. Well, you, let's see. We got it. Mads, Flash, Caspian, Hunter, Melody, Jans, Kirby, Time. A lot of lurkers got them. <laughs> and and Geek of the Gamer got it. Nice. Epic. <laughs> but thank you, Mac. Uh, dude, I need to add ten more to the tree now. Shit. But thank you, Mac. Thank you. Dude, when Mac streams, I'm gonna give them a million gifted. <laughs> but thank you, Mac. I appreciate it. I'm the top gifter now. <gasps> Ain't no way. Look at the top. Mac is number one by one gifted. We need to get Titans in here right now. <laughs> but thank you, Mac. Thank you. Lightens. <laughs> True. Everybody at Titans in the chat. <laughs> Oh, the red's cute. 
But thank you, Mac. I really appreciate it. That's that's a lot of money to spend at once. So genuinely, thank you. Now we're ready to distribute the wealth back to Animal Crossing. Does this lighting look good? I feel like it's a bit dark. But there's like nothing I can really do to fix it. I mean, I kind of like it, but it's like... Ah. Now you can buy boba. True. Dude, I look like an old lady with these glasses. <laughs> Looks good on cam. Oh, sub gold? True. What are we at? How many subs are we at? Ain't no way. 55? Holy moly. What's our next sub goal stream? Can somebody check real quick? Because I think it was... It's either 60 or 80, because I don't know if I updated it. But thank you, Mac. I don't know how. It's in my about section. It's under a tab Fortnite, yeah. Like I said last week. Oh, I didn't I didn't literally I literally made no snowman this year. I made none. Wait, I can make a <laughs> I love making the fucked up snowman. Oh, it's not working. Shit. What? I haven't made a snowman in a long time. Can I... Why isn't it stacking? Do I have to pick it up? I forgot how to do this. Oh, come on! Yeah, I think we're gonna do all the mist... Or the to be done bonus obligal streams next week. Why literally why isn't this working? Make it bigger? But I wanna you know how you see the fucked up snowmen where they have like this small body and then big head? I like making those. Oh come on! <laughs> How big do I have to make it? Is next week back to normal? It should be normal, but I think I'm gonna be busy Tuesday, because that's my sister's birthday. <gasps> And nice to meet you. Finally, we talk face to face. I was eager to meet you. But even when I was still just a million little flakes, nice work rolling me up, bud. As you can see, I'm Snowboy. I will last forever, so let's have some fun on this island while we can. Now listen, to thank you for making me, I want to share some knowledge about how to craft a special item. Check your Nook Fun recipes for a frozen treat set. Normally, you can only get stuff like that when you make the most perfect version of me. But it's my birthday today, and we're meeting for the first time. Those events are worth some celebration. And take a large snowflake, too. It's required to craft the item. Or not. You're holding too many things. Why don't you sort that out and then find your way back to me? Your snow crafting sensibilities are admirable. For your first snowflake, I look pretty good. With just a little more practice, I'm sure you can build a perfect me. I hope you'll craft me again. I'll be monitoring your snowgrass. <laughs> snowgrass. Maybe you'll make me with a better sense of humor next time. What, do you not like puns? I think puns are pretty solid. They're nothing crazy. Okay, so like you said, my inventory is full because I tried to get as many items in my inventory because my, my storage is full, so I had to upgrade it. Whoa, I have 5,000 unit space now? That's pretty good. It did cost a million dollars and 200,000 to upgrade it, so it better have been a lot. <laughs> they would call you an ugly and dumb? That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that's kind of funny. Okay, so I think we're gonna do the normal Christmas event, and then we can maybe do some dailies and... You know, we gotta do a little bit of story times. We haven't played in a while. I love the holiday music they have in game, too. Wait, is that him? Pull? <gasps> it is! He's hiding. Ho ho ho! Happy holidays! I'm Jingle, the black-nosed reindeer. 
but this is the most special and exciting time of the year, isn't it? And today is the most exciting day of all. It's Toy Day. Now, I got a very busy job I can think of in the whole world. I get to help Santa deliver presents. So, <laughs> how is your Toy Day going so far? I hope it's merry as can be. Unfortunately, I got a small problem that's not very merry at all. I forgot the wrapping paper. No! Oh, I have presents big and small, perfectly tailored by the big guy for everyone on the island. What's the use if they aren't wrapped in festive paper? Can one even feel joy without festive paper? <laughs> I just had a thought. Something about DIY. Why not? What do you say, kid? Can you help us? It would behoove the both of us. Even though I'm kind of all set, hope-wise. Here's the recipe. This'll, this'll be great. Just craft a little wrapping paper and we'll pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be under the rug. I just need three pieces of this special wrapping paper. <laughs> You're saving toy day, kid. You're making cookies today? Are you finally making the sugar cookies? Oh, someone's singing. I'm debating if I want to do, like, Christmas carols on stream. Would that be cringe, or should I sing later? Oh, no. Do I need fucking ornaments? Oh, no. Because since I haven't played Animal Crossing for, like, a week... Oh, he said he needs three. Okay. I failed to realize, because I only have, like, fruit trees on my island. I have, like, barely any cedar trees, but they're up on the upper level, so I was able to grind, like, 12 of each color ornament last night. The clueless. Are you baking tomorrow? Nice. Yeah. Um. I have someone home with me right now, but they're just chilling, because they're going out to celebrate tomorrow. And then my sister's at my parents' house right now. I'm not going, but you know, that's fine. Okay, mod check ornaments. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I'll be at your mom's house. No! How could you? <laughs> Isn't it kind of weird how... I know for me... Like, streamers are so much a big part of, like, my daily routine. And, like, when I was in bed this morning, I was watching um, Bruce drop him off. Because he usually doesn't stream in the morning. But he was, like, opening PO presents from viewers. And it was honestly, like, so cute and wholesome. And I was watching, like, Amaranth do the same thing last night. And it's, like... It's weird to think... That people love you so- or like you, not love, cringe. They like you enough to like spend the time to make something, to write you a note, to send you a package. It's a crazy thing to me. And isn't that like actual like king shit? Like having people shower you with presents or gifts? I think with the rise of the internet, that's the main cause of it. Like if there was no internet, I don't think people would be able to- Acquire such mash platforms besides like actual celebrities. It's kind of interesting how like anybody can have like a massive almost celebrity status She loves us guys. No, I did not say it. I just said people's fans love their streamer. I did not oh, ho ho! I'll finish crafting the wrapping paper. Mind if I take them from you? Oh, look, look at the little tassel moving on the hat. <clears throat> ho, ho. Thank you very much. And here's a little something for you. A set of Toy Day stockings. I wonder what might happen if you hung those in your home tonight. You know, you've been such a help to me so far. It's only right that I share more of the joy with you. That's right, kid. How'd you like to help me deliver Toy Day presents? Seeing the look on someone's face when you hand them a gift is the most amazing thing. And that's the gift I'd like to share with you. Along with maybe another extra, extra special gift for helping out? No time to question it. Here, you'll need one of these. 
That's a magic bag. It's filled with gifts for each and every resident of this island. It's magical, see? All you have to do is visit each resident magic band in hand and deliver toy day gifts. Now, I should tell you that this magic will wear off at 5 a.m. And that's when I'm leaving too. But if you make your deliveries and return with the magic bag before then, I'll have a reward for you. Sharing the special joy of Toy Day is its own reward, but I think you'd like what I have too. Don't worry about my deliveries, I'm happy to share. I know Toy Day is in great hands. Easy, we got the bag! <laughs> People slay. Wait, is that even an email? Wait, I need to look that up right now. <laughs> People slay. Okay, how do I search? Oh, wait. I'm seeing if there's a... People slay. <laughs> it looks so stupid. It looks so dumb. <laughs> Oh, it's so stupid, but we'll add it. We'll add people slay. <laughs> it's fucking dumb. People slay. Oh, wait. Refresh your tab, and then it'll show up. Refresh, refresh. I forgot for seven TV emotes, it won't refresh. Okay, I need to... I need to refresh the chat overlay. Where is it? Okay. There. Because when I switch scenes, it refreshes. Is it added? It is added. Look. Oh, it's lowercase s. That's fucking stupid. Okay, it's fine. It's lowercase s and slay. People slay. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix the email code later, but not now. I don't have time. We're stalling. We're stalling. Okay, so I hate this mission because I don't like talking to my neighbors. I don't like being social, okay? I can't find it. Refresh your tab, Mac. It's going to be at the bottom. Oh, wait. Talk to me. Oh, my gosh. Spot, I finally got the chat with you. I've, um... Legit missed you a lot. Awkward. I, I just don't like talking to my villagers, okay? Okay. I have to ask, what are you doing carrying around that bag? Not out of room in your pockets? I mean, yeah, it's Toad's Couture, but it looks kind of like one of those Santa has. And, oh, wait. I have a gift for you. Seriously? For me? But, this is from Santa, right? Hipster, I'm so happy right now. Thank you. Since we're besties, I got something for you, too. I hope you like it. If it's another pair of glasses, I'm gonna scream. I won't tell you what's inside. Duh. You'll find out when you open it. Take good care of it, hipster. Oh, this is so cute. I love when people decorate the poles like this. It probably takes a long-ass time. Okay, now I gotta find everyone. Oh! Oh my god, okay! I forgot. So, you know how Aurora, we did searching like a week and a half ago, we didn't find her? And then randomly, at a campsite, this guy spawned, and I got him to move in. So, remember? I think we got Wade a while ago. And I randomly just got him the campsite. So, yeah. Now we have Wade on our island. Because I think the strat to get Aurora is we have to eliminate all the villagers and only get penguins. That way... Every time we go searching, we're probably going to get... If we do get a penguin, it's more likely to be Aurora. So that's the strat. So we haven't met Wade yet. Why are you saying huh to Wade? So, what's in the bag? Is it a whole bunch of presents? Because that'd be the best. For who? For me? A gift from Santa? Woohoo! This is amazing! Happy Toy Day! Hang on. You're delivering for Santa now? That's the coolest job ever. Thank you so much! So it goes. No, we've had him before. I think we've gotten away multiple times on Aurora hunting. 
I love how everybody's wearing a Santa hat. Can I get one? I want a Santa hat. When I went shopping, no stores had any Santa hats left. It was big sad. Hey. Megan, right? Yo, it's been forever and a day since we've talked, hasn't it? Like, one month or something. Wow. Well, better late than ever when it comes to the Hans Lyrail, Groovy. Wait, what noise does the Lyrail make? See, I, I don't like the monkey villagers, okay? I don't like them. Oh, an oversized bags back in style. I should dig mine out of storage. What's in there, anyway? Wow, this is from Santa, the real Santa, right? It wasn't just somebody else in a red suit, right? Don't ask me why I'm asking. Is he trauma dumping? In my stream? That's not allowed. <laughs> What's up, Megan? Haven't talked to you in a while. You kind of ghosted me on there. Hey, have you ever wondered how ghosts get ripped? Do you think they do deadlifts? No. Well, that's gotta be the third biggest bag of stinky gym clothes I've ever seen, like, whoa. <laughs> a gift? Wait, is this from Santa? Then that means you got drafted on Team Santa? Awesome, yeah, we got drafted, guys. It's the American military, aka Operation Santa. But why are you inside? You should be out celebrating. Yeah, share what you feel comfortable with, Hans. <laughs> Damn, this guy's been here from the start. You should have said you have flat feet so they don't take you. Is that real? Because I my feet are flat as fuck. I might actually have to get PT because my feet are fucked. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't know that was, like, a stipulation. Okay. Yo, champ, long time no see. You're looking strong. You've been working out. What a coincidence. So have I. What's up with the bag? Is it full of gifts or are you hauling around your hula dancing gear, huh? A gift? From Santa? Hold on. You're doing Santa's heavy lifting? That's awesome. You're totally crushing it. Very nice. It's a major issue with mobility? Hmm. Huh. Maybe that's why I'm fucked. <laughs> Awkward. Now that I think about it, my dad was in the Navy. In his feet. That sounds really weird to say. But he does not have flat feet. Like, he has, like, nice arch feet. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. You, you baited me. You actually baited me. Anyway. Uh, somebody clip it. <laughs> it's not weird, but still the sentence was really weird to say. I think Koboba earlier in chat said, It's very difficult to clip non-gaming streams. But I was just saying that, oh, that was a good clippable moment, but this is, this is technically gaming, so. Sad. Sad. <laughs> um, just a reminder, whoever makes the best clips... For December, gets a $25 gift card in January. Wowie. Well, look at Friga's eyes. They're huge. Oh, Megan. It's been a while since you and I had a chance to talk like this. Oh my god, is she gonna break up with me? <laughs> I believe our last chat was about a month ago. I have a good memory for these things, you know. We live on the same island. I guess I find it quite sad. Why is your mom clip the most popular? I don't know. Because, like, the title is generic enough to where most people can assume what the joke is. That bad looks like quite a burden. What could be worth carrying all over Tiblin for? Oh! Was Santa indis indisposed? What? Oh! Was Santa indisposed and you heroically swooped in to deliver presents in his stead? How dashing! You're my new hero, darling. You saved Toy Day for us all. Okay, how many more? Yeah, I don't know why the Buzz Off mate did well. 
I don't know why it did well. Okay, how many left? I don't know. I don't even know who lives on my island. So I have one, two. I have three more left. Who's that girl? That's um my sister. I love this guy's house. Hey there, Megan. Been a spell and a half since we spoke, I reckon. That weren't on purpose, were it? Even a little old cuss like me is not made of stone. Anyway, good to see you. You trying to get into the delivery business? I think we're pretty much covered on this island, kiddo. But we don't have Amazon here. <laughs> oh yeah? A present from Santa? Well, that's swell. Thanks for bringing it by, that case. And <gasps> to tell the truth, it's even more swell that you're the one bringing it. Wait, why did I only get a present from Bubbles? Is it because I'm better friends with Bubbles? Oh, if I would have like become best friends with everybody, would I have like actually gotten presents back? That's kind of sad. Clueless. <laughs> Fuck. I'm actually throwing. Okay, two more left. They don't like you? I mean, it makes sense. I neglect them all the time, so it's totally valid. It's my fault. It's my fault. That's what happens when you ghost to your friends. True. True. And you know what also sucks? When, like, you wish your friend happy birthday and Merry Christmas, but then... W the year you stop wishing them happy birthday, or when you stop texting them, is, like, sad. I don't know. Anyway, hi Caspian, welcome in. You get to have a stocking on the tree. Welcome in, hon. I think you got a gifted sub earlier from Mac. So now you can use the emotes, Caspian. But Merry Christmas Eve. Yeah, I spelled Caspian's name wrong. I fucked up the N. <laughs> yeah, you better say thank you to Mac. <laughs> Gentle reminder, if you type in chat, you get a stocking on the tree. Wowie. Get Caspian's added. Lumbao. <laughs> oh, wait. I, I skipped what he said. Oopsie. I don't care about him anyway. What do you got in the bag, kiddo? You find some of Santa's old laundry? <laughs> you like that one. <laughs> A gift? For me? Twist my arm, why don't you? Oh, it's from Santa? Don't that be beat all. My friend working for Santa himself. Yeah, I'm part of the Mafia. I was lurking, but the offer was stocking is too much good to pass up. Exactly. Hi, welcome in, Downs. Can we get some pizza to use for Downs? Hope we're doing well today, man. Oh, wait, you're in the UK. What time is it for you now? Wait! I think Santa just went through Western Europe. Have you had Santa yet? <laughs> has, has he come by yet? <laughs> but welcome in, Downs. Chatters down. This is a super nice British streamer I was telling you guys about yesterday. Merry Christmas from the future. Epic. Happy potato, welcome back. You got Splatoon 3? Dude. Nice. I don't know if I'm getting any presents this year. Wait, no. One of my roommates? Um. I think they got me something. I Okay, okay. I hate... Well, we'll go into more story times later, but I hate not knowing what my gift is, and they refuse to tell me. They were just like, oh, well, I know you like Nintendo. And I'm like, cool. But it's like, what is it? <laughs> what is it? I, I gotta wait till tomorrow. Why is Ellie sleeping? Wake up! Oh, I've never heard that, like, intro. I'm sorry. Did I fall asleep? Hope I didn't say anything weird in my sleep. I didn't, right? 
<laughs> Was she dreaming about me? Huh? <laughs> if you were the real Santa, that would be a magic bag filled with wonderful toy day presents. Um, actually? Is this gift for little old me? Why, how sweet of you. I know Jingle put you up to this, but I say the thought the I but I say the thought still still but I cannot talk. But I say the thought still counts. You're doing such a good job as a substitute Santa backbeat. I think you deserve a reward for it. Tis the season and all. Yes. Presents from my favorite girlies. I tell you what it is, but I wouldn't want to deny you the thrill of opening it, little one. Peace I too, not a grammar queen. I am really good at grammar. I just can't speak, okay? I'm a stutter. And a list. Don't be ableist. <laughs> Sorry to check my phone. <laughs> In game, of course. Make phone streamer. Not the ableist card. Oh, I, I delivered everybody. Easy. Oh, he's right here. Hey there, kid. How are the deliveries going? Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm. Let's see here. You deliver more than half the gifts I brought. That's the spirit. You're doing great. And here's a little delivery for the delivery. Well, you're welcome. Wait, did I not talk to everybody? Wondering how many gifts are left in your magic bag? You can check by opening your pockets. Keep up the good work, kid. Let's see, I still have a present for Pee-wee. Oh, I have two monkeys. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, mod check Pee-wee. Oh no. I think I've talked to Pee Wee for the first time ever in a game. And they moved in like two months ago. Okay, there's Hans. Mod check Pee Wee? Kiwi's hiding because they know I hate them. I mean, know that I don't like them. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, I don't think any of my villagers go, villagers go to the upper levels because I only have ladders. I don't have, like, steps or anything. Dude, I keep on seeing Hans and getting debated. Pee-wee's home. That's why I didn't see him. I thought I could do this 100% completionist run first try. Oh, dude, he's so cool. How much do you lift, bro? Oh. So you might notice a thick layer of dust resting on top of my dumbbell. I keep making plans to get fit, but I can never find the time. Little bitty baby? Ew, why does he call me that? Cringe. Ew, I hate pet names. That bat looks pretty heavy. Can I help you make it a little lighter, little bitty baby? Ew, what the fuck? Stop, I don't like Pee-wee. Why is he hitting on me? I'm on my incel arc right now. Oh yeah, a present from Santa. Well, that's swell. Thanks for bringing it by, little bitty baby. Stop! Stop! And to tell the truth, it's even more swell that you're the one bringing it. Dude, he's blushing. He's blushing. 
Dude, he's like so obvious about it too. Like, I don't like him. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. It's giving what pad? <laughs> oh, bye, Caspian. We'll see you later, hon. Thank you for popping in. A juror game. Juror holiday. This is like his dream come true. <laughs> I don't like gym rats. Or gym brats. I don't like them. Honestly, I don't like when people are like too muscular. It doesn't seem like comfortable to cuddle with. Like, it'd be too like firm. You know, I like a little bit of, you know, plush, you could say. Okay, word sand. Oh, right here, right here. <laughs> I said that weird. Plush? Oh, a little bit of chub. Why does Twitch have no subtitles? Um, what you can do, if you're watching on Google Chrome, if you click on the settings, you can enable, um, automated generated captions, I believe. Or there's also extensions as well through Google Chrome. How did deliveries go? I'm all done! Hmm, let's see here. You're all done. Each and every present is exactly where it should be. Huh. I can feel the Toy Day magic and joy radiating from every corner of the island. Guess you won't be needing that magic bag anymore. I'll go ahead and take it from your hands. You owe me a lot, you know. I think I got one more little gift for you, kid. You're on Toy Day Slay. Oh, thank you, Mac. I forgot to disable that. I'll disable that during the ad break. You helped make Toy Day extra magical for everyone living on Tibland, you know that? And hey, I've said it before, but it still rings true. That makes me a happy little reindeer. Well, now that my... Excuse me, uh... Now that our work is done, I think we deserve a little break. Maybe we'll run into each other again on some far-off toy day in the future. See you later, kid. Oh, I thought he was just gonna, like, snap and go by. Okay. Oh, it's so weird playing the game with headsets. Like, I can hear, like, the pitter-patter of his feet. Wait, what am I supposed to do with, like, the toy decorations? Because, like, I totally forgot what the mission was. I thought I had to, like, wrap and gift the toy decorations to my villagers. Or maybe I still have to do that? I don't remember. Oh, the ring Santa's! <gasps> A ring? For my Gia? 82k? No way. I think it's kind of silly how people will spend thousands, tens of thousands on engagement or wedding rings. I think it's a scam. Honestly. Like, I understand you're gonna wear it for theoretically years. But what if you break up and they want the ring back? Cringe. That's kind of what I'm scared of, not gonna lie. And like, I have this thing where I don't, I, I, as the woman, if I ever have like a male partner, I don't expect to receive like jewelry or anything. Cause I think it's unfair to expect like the man to do certain things. Like what if they buy me a ring, but then I also bought them a ring. And we're such some, for something that's such a big decision, I wouldn't want to feel like I would not have input. Because you ever see, like, the public proposals? And I feel like there's a lot of, like, indirect pressure for, like, the person receiving the proposal to say yes. And I think, the, obviously, the, the discussion of getting married is a very, like, serious, like, adult topic. That it should not be taken lightly. Like, I get sad whenever, like, you see people talking about canceling engagements. I just, I'm like, damn... I mean, it's for the better. Like, it's better to, like, not get married and, like, end the marriage. But it's still, like, unfortunate when it happens. <laughs> Having to see a lawyer to legally love someone is kind of cringe. Yeah, I agree. Just say you like them and live together forever. You don't get married. Is it actually better for taxes, though? Is it? Yeah, I need some water. I have jewelry from an ex I was allowed to keep, but wasn't it in an engagement ring? 
I feel like somebody would want like an engagement ring back. Like if it's like a bracelet or something, I feel like most of those are like fairly inexpensive, but like for a ring, I think they would want it back. I don't know, I've never been engaged, so. Especially in medical situations? True, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Oh, talking about medical situations, I got a notification on Facebook that was like, Hey, do you want to assign someone to have access to your Facebook account when you fucking die? <laughs> And it's just like, okay, why am I getting this notification at like 1am on a Thursday night? I don't need this right now. And like, I'm 23. I'm not gonna die for a while. Hopefully crossing my fingers. But like, all the recommended accounts were like family members who are like way older than me. And it, it's just weird to me. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> oh my god. You're starting to want a relationship a little bit? I think people like the idea of being in a relationship, but it's honestly a very overwhelming feeling. Because you have to learn how to navigate how you feel and then how also your partner feels. And granted, you'll learn as you go. You will make mistakes, you will, like, piss each other off, you will hurt each other's feelings. But that's part of it. As long as you spend your time with someone who's kind and values your opinions and not just your looks or aesthetic, then... You gotta make the best of it and try and work it out. And I think a big thing when it comes to relationships, whether platonic or romantic, like, you have to put an equal effort. Like, if you feel like they care for you more than you do them, or vice versa, then that's a problem. That needs to be addressed. It's so much work, but worth it. Cringe. Cringe! I'm on incel arc. <laughs> you gotta be mature, true. That's why I'm so glad that I didn't date in high school. Dude, all the people I crushes on were like, assholes. <laughs> oh, what would you say the age gap should be? Uh, problematic, problematic age gaps is an interesting topic. Uh, I think it's kind of weird when you see an older person, like someone who's like past 25, try and pursue somebody who's very young. Like legal is 18, right? In the States, for most states rather. But I still think it's kind of weird because obviously people are at different emotional maturities. So I think in terms of like maturity i think a safe range is five years but that does not mean a 13 year old should date an 18 year old that's not okay because that's like middle school to college kid that's not okay but like when somebody's a legal adult like 18 19 you can do whatever the, whatever the fuck you want because you're legally consenting but if you are wanting to pursue someone who's older or younger Keep in mind that they might not be on the same mental level as you. Because the, the person I've dated in the past, they were a year and a half older than me. But I was definitely more mature than, than them. <laughs> and they've admitted it. They've admitted it. So it's not like there's no beef. They knew that they were kind of childish. And that's fine. But I was also like super immature back then. And that was like three years ago. That leaves room for sketchy business, yeah. Hi, Rockin', welcome in. Merry Christmas. Can we get some peace out to yours for Rockin'? Welcome in. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, I can swap it. Yeah, let's swap it for this. Okay, you're gonna get a stocking on the tree. Welcome in, Rockin'. You're 20 and you're dating someone who's 29. I mean, I feel like 20 is like you're two years past legal. I think that's fine. It's still kind of weird. You know what I think is really inappropriate? 
I think it's fucking weird as fuck. When, um... Especially in food service jobs where there's a lot of, like, minors working or very young people. Where you see, um, people who are a lot older trying to pursue someone who's a lot younger than them. I think it's kind of weird. I think it's weird. Yeah, it's going back to the main theme of, like, emotional maturity. And you also have to think about, like, what, um... I guess you could say your passions in life are because obviously someone who is 20 is probably not necessarily thinking about kids and stuff but someone who's nearing 30 probably is 20 and 29 is not that bad yeah but it's like still kind of yeah. everybody teach their own but it's still kind of <laughs> still kind of weird as long as they're happy and, like, respecting each other, it's fine. You feel like by the age of 20, you would know if you want kids or not? No way. No way. I don't think many people think that way. I need to shovel. I think it's kind of funny how a lot of young people... You know how when they're, like, in elementary, and they put, like, oh, what do, you, what, what do you want to be when you're older? And they put, I want to be, like, a mother or a father. Or, like, I want to have kids, and they're in, like, fucking first grade, dreaming about having kids one day. Like, it's super cute and endearing, but I think it's, like... It's a weird thing to, like, think about when you're still a child yourself. I hate when old people hit on me at work. Really triggers my anxiety. I know, it's like... One, somebody hitting on you at work is wildly inappropriate. Like, obviously report them if they're, like, harassing you. I Granted, it takes a lot of courage to do so, but it's like... Why do people do it at work? And I definitely had some, like, older people, like, especially working in service. Oh, welcome in, Sylveon. <laughs> You're gonna have a stocking. Uh, anyway. I think it is also very... Uh, because, like, I've had a lot of people hit on me, like, working behind the counter in service. But I've had, like... I haven't had anybody, like, touch my hand at the counter. And I've heard stories of it. It's just, like, some people, like... Obviously, they don't understand social cues to think that it's okay to act like that in public. It's like unwarranted advances, I think, is something that's kind of normalized, but needs to be talked about more in the sense of... I think people should be more comfortable talking about it in terms of like talk, bringing it up to like your employer or manager or something. Because I was harassed in a workplace previously, and it took me a while to report it because... Um, the individual was friends with the manager. And I was scared that I would be, like, reprimanded or lose hours. But thankfully, it was taken seriously and it was handled appropriately. So, and when it comes to work workplace harassment, it might not just be happening to you as well. It's probably happening to several of the coworkers. So, I think in order to make yourself feel safer in those situations, talk to your coworkers, you know. See what... If they've experienced similar things, and go as a group to report it to your manager if needed. Hi, Kiki. Welcome in. Can we get some peace side two yos for Kiki? First time chatter. Welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, I hate that. I'm sorry, Mac. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry to hear that. Oh, also, welcome in Kiki. Since first time chat, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. We also have cool, free, follower-only emotes that you can use as much as you like in the chat. We also have your name in a stocking. Big reason I want to quit? Yeah, honestly. Um, you know what's kind of awkward? You know what's awkward? Hey guys, it's time for an ad. I oh, no, cringe, cringe. They, them? Got it, boss. Oh, uh, chatters, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. I'm sorry, I gotta do it. 
So if you want to avoid that ad, all you got to do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're going to keep playing, do some more story times, and then, and then we'll do more log reading. Sorry, P say to L. <laughs> sorry. I know ads suck, I'm sorry. <laughs> Two out of ten, fuck off. Um, get some water, get a snack, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Also, I have a new TikTok, so everybody, if you have to watch that ad, no problem. Go watch it and leave a comment. Um, non subs get boomed. <laughs> He's like to L. Dude, I love that emote so much. Okay, I need to fix my timers. Because Max said we have the timer enabled. Gonna get some candy canes? Sounds good, man. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, I disabled the timer. Snack time BRB? Sounds good. Everybody's getting a snack. Exactly. Get a snack during that. Perfect timing. Now I'm hungry. I literally ate right before stream. So we're good. Yeah, Kiki followed. <clears throat> okay, what, what should I do now? My inventory's full. Oh, I want to see the sleigh. I don't remember what it looks like. My goal for 2022 is to actually decorate my island. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, I made enchiladas the other night, and I made way too many. So we're, we're eating enchiladas for literally days. Oh yeah, I was gonna wrap the presents and deliver them. I forgot. Oh. Did I say 2022? Oopsie. <laughs> that was close. I always mess up the years. I feel like it's common. Like in elementary where you have to write the dates on your papers and you put the wrong year for a whole month. I feel like that's normal, right? But then everybody makes fun of you. Like, haha, you put the wrong year. Trying to find the presents. Mod check? Oh, here they are. Oh, the toy box is honestly kind of cute. Okay, I think that's all the toys. Let's see if this works. Do I get a gift in return? Today is toy day and- oops, I meant to say today- oh, I messed up. Reset, reset. Toy day is toy day and- oops, I meant to say today is toy day and- uh, let's just trade gifts. Oh, I actually have to. Noted. Oh, what's inside? I have to know. I have to know now. Oh, it's so cute. My very own dinosaur toy. Keep this up and you're gonna make Santa jealous, hipster. Didn't think I'd forget about you, did you? Yeah, are you so curious about what I'm gonna give you? You'll just have to open it and see. I used to feel weird writing during the first week back at school because I'd hardly write during summer. Hmm. I don't know. Because, like, I've always, like, written... I used to... <laughs> I used to write, like, short stories, and I used to draw all the time. So I, I never really kind of experienced that. The only thing that would kind of, like, get worse would be my print. Because I, I write in cursive by default. I don't write in cursive as much anymore. 
when I was younger, I definitely did. I wish I could wrap, mass wrap everything. I remember some people's handwriting in school would be so horrible. Like, mine was not the best, but not, like, crazy bad. I remember one kid in my high school, they needed to have, like, a computer or a transcriber write their essays for them because their handwriting was so bad for, like, the Washington State test. And not that we made fun of them, because this was high school. But, like, the teacher would roast them a little bit. Your four, you still look like nines? Well, I can see how that could happen. I can see that. Oh, wait, I, I skipped what he said. I don't like Hans anyway. Welcome back, Kiki. Hmm, let's see. Judging by how much this weighs, gives me literally zero clue about what's inside. Guess I'll just have to open it. Ha! I'm having a flashback. Back in Nam. <laughs> Young Hans playing with a Baba book. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> okay, are you ready for your gift? I don't want to build expectations too high, but it will blow your mind. Oh my god, when I was watching Bruce's stream this morning, when he was like opening presents, everybody would be like pipe bomb or boom. And it it's so bad. I hate chatters who do that, who like try and debate. But to like have that like intrusive thought. Oh my god. But it was like honestly so funny reading the fucking chat. Uh, I know people like will grill large streamers chat rooms all the time, but honestly, I think they're fucking hilarious. Like chat metas are the best. Ah, oh, another unforgettable toy day. If this had been a movie, you would definitely get top billing. Thanks for everything, Groovy. I'm inside your walls. Let's not bring back the walls meta. Ooh, Kool-Aid flavored candy canes? Hot take. But I've never liked the non-peppermint flavored candy canes. My mom would get them every year because they'd always be in the discount section, but I hated them. So if I'm gonna get a candy cane, I want an actual candy cane. I love fruit flavored candy, but fruit flavored candy canes just don't do it for me. They aren't good. Ooh! Did you choose those candy canes or were you given those candy canes, Kiki? Mint is yucky. I think like a little a little dash of mint is nice. Like I don't think I I could ever have like a junior mint candy anymore cuz I feel like that's too much. Is it a good time to suggest a gift exchange? Opinions are opinions. Exactly. We respect each other's opinions unless they're bad opinions. And liking fruit flavored candy canes is a bad opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, what lovely wrapping paper. Do you mind if I open it now? Oh, how cute. You got me a tin robot. This gift takes me back to when I was a little girl. I love it. Make it being cringe today, mods ban crystal. It's time. <laughs> we have very harsh food opinions. True. Honestly, that is very true. Make it just no good food takes. I rolled my eyes. On purpose. On purpose that time. Since this was supposed to be a gift exchange, here's a present for you in return. <clears throat> a gift exchange with you was exactly one of the things on my toy day list. I really did get everything I wanted. Oh, I was gonna make a list for Santa tonight. Remind me. After Animal Crossing, I have to make a list for Santa. Okay. I just like Reese's. Okay, based. Based. 
The Halloween stream was three months ago. How do you guys still give me hate for the Reese's take? Okay, we're gonna keep delivering. I feel like the texture of peanut butter and peanut butter candy isn't like actual peanut butter. That's why I don't like it. It's almost like it's grainier. I got you a present because it's toy day and that's what you do for folks with with folks you're friends with. He said we're friends. At least he didn't say I was his girlfriend like PB wanted to. Oh, that paper makes me think there's something good in here. Time to find out. All right, well, that's about the cutest thing I ever saw. Giving an old guy a tin robot. All right, my turn to give you a little something. Hope you like it, kiddo. Huh. A good gift exchange. That's the heart of the holiday right there. Thanks, Goshers. Thought he said Gushers, and I was getting concerned. <laughs> it's like, why would he call me Gushers? Awkward. Six more. I should have done this one the first time around, huh? Gushers are amazing. I feel like Gushers are more of a novelty when you're younger. Because I bought a pack like a year ago as an adult. And they were a lot stickier than I remember. That's probably enough Sid squatting for now. One sec, Meg. Hey, Megan. Hold on a second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Actually, I had to... Dude, I, I have a present for you. Why are you reading- why are you fucking reading a book? That's for nerds. Books are for nerds. I've been doing clenches for an hour. Let's see if I can still stand. What type of clenches? What- what is he talking about? That's probably enough sit squatting for now. One sec. I love the follower emotes. I'm glad you like them. Use them as much as you want. Dude, stand up! Yeah, <laughs> booty clenches. Dude, stand up. Stand up. <laughs> um. <laughs> Guys, 13 plus chat, 13 plus chat. I have so many jokes I can make, but we're not going to make them. <laughs> oh my god, Sp Santa's nearing Spain! They're stuck. <laughs> They're clenching on the tie. That's what I wanted to say. Get them up. I, can't, I literally can't get them up. I can't help them. Every time I talk to him, he's like, get away. Give me a second. I'm really invested in this book. What is he reading? Looks like a comic book. <laughs> the pages are the same, so whenever he turns, it's the same. Do I have to come back? I don't like this guy. Burn his home? I don't think we need to do that yet. I think that's like, psycho shit. And Kiki, if you don't mind me asking, how did you find the channel? murder his family oh he's up he's up he stood up <laughs> i hope you're ready for a one-on-one -on -one gift exchange because i'm challenging you to one-on-one -on -one gift exchange what's the pokemon me where it's like da -da 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 -da. no i i literally can't do it i can't do it y you know what i'm talking about though right <laughs> oh you found me on the animal crossing page really ain't no way i'm pumped up for this a tin robot? <laughs> 20 is the best. Every year I get to feel like a noodle-armed little bird all over again. Okay, my turn, Pat. Here you go. That was awesome. You really brought your toy day A game. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> Wait, so switching categories earlier worked out? Yeah, imagine. I literally said earlier, I don't get many follows when I'm in gaming. And we got a follow from gaming. Lamau. But thank you, Kiki. I appreciate it. 
It's not it's not often we get new follows through the Discover tab, so that's interesting. I mean, it could be because holiday, so I assume more people are active on the site. <clears throat> Who want to do a gift exchange? I skip leg day to learn gift wrapping, and I really want to show off. Um, since you're new, um, this is our current weekly schedule. It's kind of messed up for holiday, but that's the normal. Get ready to see how a pro athlete tears up wrapping paper. Whoa! I definitely wasn't expecting a toy box. Way to flex some serious generosity, champ. Thanks. Now, wait till you check out what I got you. That was awesome. You really brought your toy day A game. Thanks, champ. Epic. Oh, four more, holy. This is gonna take all day. Did I talk to Hans already? Oh, I did. I did. Oh, the snowing game is so pretty. Yeah, I'm always on Twitch as well. I usually always have a stream on my TV when I'm offline. If it's alright with you, can we do our gift exchange now? I simply can't wait any longer. This is for me? May I open it now? Oh wait, I seem to be opening it already. <laughs> Awkward. A toy box? There must be some mistake. You didn't get that for me, did you? <laughs> what, this bitch? Oh, what a kind, generous friend you are. I'm having such a wonderful toy day. Now, in order to make this a proper gift exchange, I need to give you something. I thought she fucking hated me. Happy toy day! I want a joyous and memorable toy day this has been. I'm telling you, Frita's making... Oh, I thought you said me. You said mean. Yeah, she is kind of fucking mean. But we have to keep her because we need to get Aurora. And if we have more, uh, if we have more penguins on the island, hopefully we'll find her sooner. She's shady. She just seems like, um, I almost said a bad word. I mean, I can say it. She's just not very nice. <laughs> hey, uh, in the spirit of the season, I got a toy day present for you. Is that okay, in that case? She would definitely, like, stab me in the back. Unironically. Well, the paper's sure pretty. Feel kind of bad tearing it up, but here goes. Huh? It's a little cutesy for a guy like my age, but I always kind of wanted a dollhouse. <laughs> and here's my gift. I, uh, had some trouble figuring out what to get you, so I hope this works out alright. Ah, that was fun. Looks like a real nice toy day this year, thanks to you, Nutcase. Man, I'm depressed now. Oh, uh oh, what happened? Is the game is like Feedy or main? Okay, who haven't I given a gift to? Oh, did you say something bad, Lamau? <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I didn't give a gift to Wade, and not Pee-wee yet either. So Wade and Pee-wee. Oh, your switch died. Yeah, died is a block term. <laughs> See, when I play on my switch in handheld mode, I usually go till the battery is almost dead. I like to live on the edge. Last night I was playing, and it went from like 15 to 12, and then 7. And I was like, ooh, am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? 
And then I put it back in the dock at like 6%. I felt like so cool. You know, that little bit of adrenaline? I love it. Yeah, ew, peewee. He better not be weird. I don't like being harassed. All right. It's time to do what this whole toy day thing is about. Let's trade presents, kiddo. Okay, it's not like he's calling me itty bitty now. Or itty baby. I don't gotta wait, do I? Because I just want to open it right here, right now. All right. Well, that's about the cutest thing I ever saw, giving an old guy a dollhouse. All right, my turn to give you a little something. Hope you like it, kiddo. Ah, a good gift exchange. That's the heart of the holiday right there. Thanks, little bitty baby! Let's get out of here. He does give bad vibes. But you know who doesn't get bad vibes? My chat room, because chatters, we are an hour and a half into stream. So it's time for me to tell you, if you're new here, follow the channel. If you follow, you get to type in chat, and you get cool emotes. Ain't no way. And if you're already following, make sure to go live notifications turned on. That way you get notified for when I go live. Okay, mod check, Wade. It'd be- wait, can you call? Dumb. I thought I could summon the villagers, but I guess not. I, I don't, I've never played. No, okay, I, it's not. I don't know how to play Animal Crossing properly. I'm a casual player. Even though I used to play it every fucking day like a psycho. Is it bad if you're still playing Animal Crossing in 2022? I feel like it's fine, because it's definitely like a cozy game. The big reason why I fell out of it like a year and a half ago is because there's this weird pressure whenever I play any type of game that has like daily logins or it correlates with real IRL time. That's why I like story games to where if I close the game and I pause it, I can pick up where I left off in the same place the next day. It makes me feel like I'm not wasting my IRL time and the time of the game. I feel like a lot of people burnt themselves out. Like, it definitely came out at when the pandemic started, right? So I feel like everybody, like, was super into it. But I kind of fell out of it in, like, the very end of summer that year. Because my goal was to get all the creatures, which I couldn't do year one. I got kind of close year two, but then I deleted my island for the affiliate stream. Lamau, if you were there, you were there. Okay, where the fuck is Wade? Where is Wade? You got it for your birthday? That is such a great birthday gift, honestly. I think getting a game for your birthday is, like, the best present you can ever get. Because I think the anticipation of getting a gift that you know what it is is half the fun. And then getting, like, to spend your special day playing a game that you've wanted for a while. I think is super nice. Same goes for, like, getting specific Christmas gifts as well. Okay, I legitimately cannot find Wade. Oh, wait. Nope. Yeah, I think definitely streaming Animal Crossing brought back my enjoyment of the game. Because I like games that have repetitive mechanics. Because I think they're really easy to get into. But I like Animal Crossing a lot for stream because it's kind of a game where I can zone out, talk to chat more. This is why we don't go to our friends. Oh, come on. Wade literally moved in three days ago. Oh, I hated that bug sound. Okay, literally, where the fuck is Wade? You know what's also annoying as fuck? Whenever the villagers are hanging out with each other in each other's homes. So you search for tens of minutes trying to find a specific one and they're actually hanging out with somebody. He ran away. <laughs> but he just got here. Why would he do that to me? 
Okay, legitimately, where the fuck is Wade? I see Pee Wee, Ricky, Friga, Antonio, Sparrow, Fret, Ellie, Han. Yeah, I literally, I need Wade. I need Wade. Where is he? I'm not happy. This is the only time I think it's fine to have like a cell phone tracker. I feel like a lot of kids nowadays or when I was growing up, would their parents would have like a cell phone tracker on their phone. I remember I downloaded it on my phone, but then I immediately deleted it just to tell my mom that, oh yeah, I downloaded the app and then whenever she asked me, I'm like, oh, I guess the app isn't working. Oh no. Cause I, I think it's weird to have somebody able to see your live location. That's another reason why I like for Snapchat. How you can like share your location like publicly with your Snapchat friends. I think that is kind of weird. Oh my god, there's fucking Wade! Dude, in the city all this whole time. But this will be the only time that I think it's fine to track your villagers and your friends. Today is toy day. That means we can do a toy day gift exchange and it won't be weird. So, it goes. I summoned him. Yeah, it actually worked. Imagine... <laughs> <laughs> you guys hear that? That was my shoulder. I'm fine, I promise. Oh, what's inside? What's inside? What's inside? I gotta know! A dollhouse? How could you know that's what I wanted? You're like a way cooler Santa. And now here's a present for me. Bet you can't guess what it is. Yeah, now I get to cram another great toy day memory into my brain. Hmm, it's getting full up there. Me too, man, me too. <laughs> okay, let's see our spoils. Yeah, I agree. I, I want to see people's, like, B-Reels posts or, like, nows on TikTok so bad. But I never want to post my, one myself because I think it's fucking cringe. Everybody will say that I say everything is cringe, but it's true. Everything is actually cringe. Okay, this is from Wade. We got a puppy plushie. Cute. From Pee Wee. Better not be a love note. A tent. Okay. From Ricky. Got a mini circuit. I, I hope that's not... Okay, let me see what this looks like. Oh, okay. When I saw circuit, I thought it was a B-O-M-B. -B, and I got really scared. Okay, we're good. I was like an actual bad present. <laughs> I think Megan's the most cringe. Sad. Oh, from Friga, we got a pop-up book. She... No, we gave her a dollhouse, so she just gifted us another toy. From Antonio. I got a, a tin robot. Why are people gifting back the toys that I got for other people? From Sparrow. I got a dollhouse. <laughs> They're literally just handing around the gifts. It's like White Elephant. From Fret. We got a dinosaur toy. From Ellie. We got a mini circuit. From Hans. I got a puppy plushie. And from Bubbles. I got an RC helicopter. <laughs> yeah, the villagers on my island are so fake. <laughs> Everybody's just fake. Your influence ruined them? Should I not be an influencer then? Do you guys think I'm an influencer? Type 1. <laughs> okay, let's see. I've delivered presents. I got 10 shitty gifts that I literally re-gifted to other people. Okay, good. The correct answer is I am not an influencer. So thank you guys. Thank you. 1.5? Fuck. What- what makes someone an influencer, though? Like, it's- it's not necessarily, like, follower count. Cause somebody can have, like, 50k followers on Twitter but get zero likes. What makes somebody an influencer? I think it is a weird title to give yourself. I feel like somebody who is an influencer is somebody whose audience engages a lot to where you can actually impact 
the actions of your audience. Like whether it be like encouraging them to buy a product or do a charitable act. Not necessarily all influencers will induct positive actions, but to me that's what constitutes an influencer. Yeah, I agree. Not all YouTubers are influencers. I think influencers encourage their audience to engage when there's a lot of YouTubers who just create and then that's their outlet. I think being able to sell items under your brand makes you an influencer. I agree. Because when I think of influencer, I think of people shilling products for like a sponsored post. Not saying that sponsored posts are bad, you know, get that bag. But if like a majority of your posting is like sponsored ads, and I'm just like, uh, it's kind of bad. I think of James Charles. We don't like James Charles here. Pepe spit James Charles. <laughs> yeah, isn't it kind of wild how someone can do like actual crimes and not get prosecuted or still have a platform after it's been proven, and they have self-reported that they've done crimes towards another person. Insane. And there are people who still support said person? Insane. I don't- that's what I hate about, like, um... Online influencers to an extent. Like, if I ever- if I ever do anything, like, egregiously bad, or that deserves criticism, call me out on it. You know, I don't want to be somebody who encourages bad behaviors you know i would never do crimes obviously but if i ever do something that could be construed as like insensitive or a behavior that's not kind call me out on it because you don't i don't think anybody should ever get to a point to where you have hype men that will support anything you do yeah he literally self-reported so bad and it's it, it's crazy how he was never, like, properly jailed or prosecuted. People just lack common sense so much. I agree. I, it's another problem to where people will turn blind to an issue if it's someone they care about. Because I think it's very easy to base your opinions off of feelings or sentiments or your own personal bias. But you have to look at people's actions at the, at the core of what the action was. Like, just because this celebrity did something bad when compared to a celebrity you like, it doesn't mean one is worse or less worse than the other. There's still two bad things that each have done. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I don't want to go too much into Kanye because I feel like there's still a lot of people who will blindly support him. But... I don't think ever- oh, I, I don't know, because, like, I don't know if people should be completely deplatformed, because that's only going to encourage the narrative that, oh, they're censoring me. But obviously, if somebody is spreading hateful or prejudiced rhetoric, I feel like they should be restricted. Because if that type of um, rhetoric is normalized in the sense of- I understand that prejudice and racism is still very prevalent in American culture. Still very much normalized. It's not necessarily as outward as it would be compared to like 50, 60 years ago. Because a lot of like racist rhetoric is, is based on the undertones. Like things at surface level that seem kind of okay to say, but if you look at the deeper meanings, it's kind of prejudice. Um, so I think it's important, like if you see any of your friends or your families that are kind of like either repeating talking points or spreading any type of rhetoric that is underlyingly prejudice don't necessarily call them out explicitly like just have them explain what they think and why they think that way that way you in your head can kind of break down how to tackle that conversation because if you come out immediately accusatory then they're going to be defensive but if you try and do so in a way that is like trying to understand their perspective in the sense of learning how they learn to think that way because racist um ideologies are learned 
it's a learned ideology. Um, if you're able to understand why they behave the way they do, then you'll understand how to kind of change their perspective on things. Anyway, we're playing Animal Crossing and it's Christmas Eve, guys. <laughs> I mean, isn't this what we talk about at the dinner table? Politics? Well, no. Okay, how much more Animal Crossing do we want to play? Because I think we've... Oh, well, let's talk to Santa again. I mean... Jingle. Happy holidays, LOL. <laughs> I mean, if this is not a piece in 17th Street, we play Animal Crossing, we go into politics, then we move on with our day. Real ones, no. <laughs> we need to start doing positive stuff during Animal Crossing. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Agreed. Hassan is scared, dude. Imagine I become the next Hassan. I'll be, oh my god, that go crazy. Okay, anyway. So, do you think everyone liked the presents I brought? I sure hope so. Well, I suppose now we can just bask in the satisfaction of a job well done. See you later, kid. Guess my work here is done. We have delivered all of the presents. I think we can put a pause to Animal Crossing. I think, because today, oh, um, I need to write my list for Santa. We need to update the Naughty or Nice list. I need to wrap presents, and then we'll do a watch along at the end of stream. So, what should we do next? I kind of want to write my list for Santa. Let's do that next. Because we got to get that done before he gets here. Because if I write it only like an hour before he's supposed to get here, then obviously, uh, then he won't get my presents. Letter? Yeah, let's do the letter next. Okay, I gotta save my game. Wow. Also, gentle reminder, if you type in chat, you'll get a stocking on the tree. Ain't no way. Well. Yeah. Where's Santa now? I can't see. Where is he? Oh, he's in Ireland. Well, I can't zoom anywhere. I wanted to zoom in to see, like, Santa's super huge. Okay. I saved my game. Let's m write my list for Santa. Let's get some music on for you guys as well. There you go. Ireland. <laughs> okay. I think we can do this overlay. Yeah. Oh, wait, do I have to write a letter, like an actual letter to Santa? I forgot, you... Do I have to, like, write the letter and then write what I want? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's change the title. We're in Just Chatting now. I think we'll be in Just Chatting for the rest of the stream. Okay, so... Santa Watch 2022. Right. <laughs> okay. After this, we'll do Naughty or Nice List. Continuing logs from yesterday. Okay. I just realized I can't hear the music that's playing because it's not outputting to my headsets. <laughs> okay. I need paper. haven't wrote one. a letter for Santa in years. Okay. Guys, I'm 23. I'm 23. Let's see. This is a huge piece of paper. This, this is like 12 inches right here.
Okay, so. Ooh, dude, I should have prepped like my actual ink quill. That would have gone crazy. But then it's like, what if I spilled ink on my nice Teddy Fresh sweater? That'd be sad. Dear Santa, do you guys really listen to ASMR? I can't do it. I can't do it. Handwriting slays, thank you. We usually do calligraphy at the end of every stream, so you can use your channel points and we'll write your name at the end of stream, Kiki. Okay, so dear Santa. Hmm. Okay, I need to actually drop this down. Okay, what do we need to write to persuade him? You know how you write like essays in school? What were they called? There's persuasive, explanatory, and there was one more. I liked persuasive ones because it made me feel like I was a debate Andy. Because I'm a debate lord secretly. I just never act on it. Okay. But dear, so for the persuasive says, per, for the persuasive essays, you need to have like th your argument first, three reasons why, and then a conclusion. So I need to think of three reasons why I've been good this year. Thank you too for redeeming. It'll be done at the end of stream. Okay, so dear Santa, <laughs> I think, <laughs> okay, since I'm actually like trying to do like decent calligraphy, it's going to take a bit. I think, I have I think I have been very, very in all caps. I think I have been very nice this year. <laughs> right now, I'm trying to think of all the times I've been kind of mean. And I'm like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Are they actually horrible? Okay, I'm trying to think of like the worst things. I think the worst is like, uh, I've ghosted a few people, but that's just because, like, anxiety and mental illness. Hmm. I love your calligraphy. Thank you. Hi, welcome to chat. Can we get some peace out to use for Kimar? If you have any nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Can we get some peace out to yo's? But welcome in, hon. Okay. I think I have been very nice. <laughs> this year, also, we have um, follower emails, so feel free to use those as well. I think I have been very nice this year. Um, do you guys think I've been nice this year? Should we do a poll? Oh, also, um, Kimar, you do get a stocking on the tree. No, it's okay, Kiki. I'm broke as fuck, too. I'm only subscribed to one streamer. And I feel bad, because I used to be able to afford more. But I think it's nice that I unlocked follower emotes a while ago. So that way, we can still have people feel included in the chat room. For free. And it's cool. There we go. Stalking for you. No, did I really not put bin? Dude, I'm literally brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay, okay. What okay, what we do now? What we do now? Professionally, what you need to do is you insert a carrot. And then you put the correct word there. Saved. I think I have been very nice this year because I'm going to spell cuz funny. Also cuz I want to write a z. Cut. The carrot isn't in the right spot. Shit, you're right. Dude, I literally fucking do you <laughs> I think I've been very- I, I think I have very nice been- Dude, I'm literally DM. I'm literally DM. This is why I don't do evening streams. 
because like my peak energy is midday. <laughs> Tell your language art teachers, I passed my English class in college, okay? Okay, I passed. Okay, now we're good. Now we're perfect. <laughs> I think I have been very nice this year because I, wait, we need to think about the naughty or nice quiz. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, um, on stream yesterday, I collectively had my chatters do a naughty or nice quiz. The camera's glitching today. I literally have no clue why. So don't freak out, okay? Because, because I've... I've donated to charity. I think I've donated maybe a total of like a hundred and fifty dollars to different charities and they were all during like charity streams i think one of my facebook friends was doing like a campaign for her birthday like you know facebook will have that option so i donated like fifty dollars to some animal shelter so i've donated like 150 bucks total granted don't ever feel bad if you can't afford to donate to charity it's totally fine um yeah <clears throat> okay i've donated to charity I've also donated my own chat room, like, nearly a hundred subs. I've donated to charity. And... Gifted. You know, I'm very generous. I've said it many times. I'm not a fake socialist. If I'm ever a millionaire, I will donate a lot of my money. I'm gifted my chat. Literally hundreds. I've gifted, I think, on this account, I've gifted my chat room 110 subs. And then on my Peace and Art channel, you can see it, my literally top number four gifter, Peace and Art, three subs this month. I didn't get a sub. Um, Mod check Oilers, you want to help Kiki out? And help him out? <laughs> yeah, you're right. If you farm 15k channel points, I will gift you one. I think Crystal redeems that almost every month if they don't get a random gifted. But I gifted my chat. Because I think it's important, like, if somebody watches your stream enough, excuse me, to, like, because I think you can get about 10,000 to 20,000 channel points a month, depending on how many streams you watch. So if you can get enough channel points in a month, I think that's warranted for a gifted sub. My chat, lots of subs. What else have I done this year that's nice? Hmm. The Air Santa. <laughs> I think I have been very nice this year because I've donated to charity and gifted my chat lots of subs. Hi, Mac. Welcome back. What else have I done, chat? What, what have I done to be nice? What have I done? <laughs> With long streams like this, it's farming points. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, how many pet channel points do you have, Mac? Mac literally watches every stream because they're a simp. Parasocially, of course. What else have I Guys, you need to tell me how I've been nice. I literally have no clue. I'm clueless. <laughs> I'm clueless. What have I done that's nice? I haven't volunteered this year. Because volunteering is a scam. You should be compensated for whatever work you do. I do a lot of chores and housework. But you could say I help around the house. I help. I help around the house. <gasps> Who wants to give this up? Me! I do! I do! <laughs> I want to give this up to my channel. 
Also, baking over a hundred cake pops for other people. That's pretty nice. True. True. We constantly stalk Santa. I forgot. We don't have that overlay. <laughs> oh, wait. Potato, you're... do you want me to give that sub to Kiki? I can do that. If, if that's what you want me to do, Potato, I'll do it. Give to Kiki? Okay, give me one second. I gotta change. I gotta do it on my second laptop. Well, that's very kind of you, Potato. You should put that on your Santa's letter. I gave my channel points away to give somebody else a sub. But thank you. Thank you for redeeming, Potato. Very kind. It might take me a minute because I have to log in. Oh my god, Hassan is live! One second, I gotta get the code. Okay, we're good. My card's in now. Keep holding. <laughs> Imagine she ends stream. Nah, I'm like a I'm like a week behind on his vods, so I gotta catch up. <laughs> and the post on Twitter, my power went out, dude. Imagine. How mad would you guys be? I feel like that could be a cancelable offense. There we go. Enjoy your gift. It's up, Kiki. Have fun, enjoy the emotes. <clears throat> Once again, thank you, Potato, for using your channel points. It's very kind of you. Okay, back to work. Back to work. Okay, I help around the house. I, right, I dropped the tape. I. I bake. What else have I done that's super nice, Chatters? I baked. Lots of treats. Um, I also, I loan money to my friends a lot. Just like 20, 50 bucks occasionally, but I do that a lot. I baked lots of treats. I loaned. You could call me a loan shark. I loaned. Money. Oh, I fucked up that. Oh, no. Sorry, I did bad. I did bad. When needed. When needed. Uh, 
Um, just in terms of, like, personal improvement, I've procrastinated on my homework less. I've been... Also, I just want to say, all the new frogs, um, my calligraphy looks so much better when I use an actual bullet journal. Like, my lettering's fine, but it could be better. I've been working hard. In school? Well, I need one more thing. <clears throat> I baked lots of trees. I loaned money when needed. I've been working hard in school. Hmm. So I think. <laughs> okay, I think I think that's gonna be the reason. So I think. I think I deserve You know what also? I don't drink and I don't smoke. I think those are bo both very nice things and I don't gamble. I don't even buy lottery tickets. So I think since I've been a very good person and virtuous in terms of not committing gambling. <laughs> That's not the most convincing. Dude, not drinking or smoking, not many people do that. A lot of people have their vices. I don't. And I think I deserve. Make sure to say please. Okay, I'll put please in parentheses. I think I deserve. You know, I'm thinking of a gift that would be very practical, okay? I put, I think I deserve a million dollars. Call me controversial, but that'd be very helpful. Okay, a million dollars would not last a whole lifetime, but that'd be very helpful. I have $15 in my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> I think I deserve a million dollars. You know, I would love, please, yes, you're right, please. Parentheses, please. Please. <laughs> it could last a lifetime. If you have a very short life, which I don't want to live a short life. Please. P.S. I think you're cool. <laughs> no, I think you're wicked. I think Santa's pretty wicked. <laughs> Unless <laughs> you're wicked. <laughs> I think Santa's pretty wicked. <laughs> Guys, I'm tired. It's 6 p.m. I'm tired. And then from from peace and heart, and then I'll put platonically because I don't want think I don't want Santa to think platonically to think I like him or something. You know, platonic love. Platon from peace and heart, platonically. Hi, Lemon. Welcome in. Add a smile. I put a heart. I think a heart is better than a smile. Okay, chatters. Let me read it one more time. <laughs> Let's look at it on the full cam. <clears throat> Dear Santa, I think I have carrot. 
been very nice this year cuz I've donated to charity and gifted my chat lots of subs. I help around the house. I bake lots of treats. I loan money when needed. I've been working hard in school. So I think I deserve a million dollars. Please, in parentheses. P.S. I think you're wicked. From peace and heart platonically. <laughs> Very nice. Welcome in time. Can we get some pizza to use for time? You are gonna get a stocking on the tree, but thank you. Welcome in. Man, we have a lot of stockings already. I only bought 24, so you better not get more than 24 chatters today. Okay. You know what else I don't want to do? I don't want to run ads. Ain't no- what the fuck? Thank you for the four gifted titans? Oh, sub go met? No way. Thank you, titans. Can we get some Titans in chat for the four gifted? Thank you, Titans. Welcome to chat. Oh, you also get your stocking today. Welcome in, Titans. It is I. Welcome in. You cannot be announcing your present like this every stream because you're going to go broke, okay? You can't allow that. Oh my god, Mac isn't number one anymore? Uh-oh. What are you going to do now, Mac? Uh-oh. Rot <laughs> row. Okay, but thank you, Titus, for the four gift. Let's see who got a rockhead was in chat earlier. And I don't know the other people, but thank you. Oh, wait. Um, Kimar, you got a gifted sub. Enjoy your sub emotes now. Wowee. <laughs> okay, but thank you, Titans. You are also going to get your name written in the sub only journal. Dude, that's four more presents on the tree. I, don't, I literally don't think I have enough paper. But that's okay. Because I have to run some ads, and I heckin' love running ads. I actually don't hate it, I love running ads. I love farming subs. Anyway, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. <clears throat> After the ad, I think we can do more chat log reviews. So we're going to update our naughty or nice list. Kind of what we were doing yesterday. Um, so if anybody didn't get reviewed yesterday, you're going to get reviewed today. You just have to type in chat. Um, so yeah. Get some water, get a snack. We will see some of you guys in a few. I also have a new TikTok. So go like it. Go leave a comment. I would appreciate it. Get boomed non-subs. Okay. So we have done Toy Day in Animal Crossing, we've written our list for Santa. Oh yeah, well, today's your first time chat, Kiki, so I guess we could do your first. Okay. Let's see, so how this works is... Let's get ready. We will be looking at chatters' logs to see if they have been naughty or nice when chatting this year. Wow, Kiki, you followed today and you already have 100 messages. That's crazy. Oh no, we already reviewed you Titans yesterday. You want to see what we labeled you? You want to see? So, for, for clarification, we went through... I have... I made a list. If you were here yesterday, you know. I made a list of all my followers who have previously chatted. Out of my 600 plus followers, only 185 people have actually chatted. So about a third of my follower count has chatted at some point. So we went through randomly and looked at people's logs. And we determined as a group if people have been naughty or nice this year. As you can see by the overlay, if you think a chatter has been nice, put vote yeah in the chat room. And if a chatter has been naughty, put vote nay. Yes, as you can see, we have our naughty or nice list. Anybody who's written in black is a good chatter. By default, all lurkers are good chatters because they don't need attention. All lurkers are good viewers, okay? If you lurk, you are great. We like the lurkers. And if you are written in red, we had three bad chatters. And titans. We we voted you naughty titans because you're a fucking masochist and you self-report every day. What if I give 9 billion more subs? Um, we'll see. I will tell you the results after you gift. <laughs> okay. So, I need a number generator again. Self-reporting builds character, I guess. 
I guess. <laughs> I have my finger on the ban button for Kiki. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, I have to get my number and generator up. So I think we can do this for like an hour or two, depending on how long you guys like it for. Then I need my lighter. Oh my god, ban me. If you get banned, if you get banned, then your name disappears from the leaderboard. Ain't that crazy? I want to be on the nice list. I mean, we, we will see after a review. <clears throat> okay. We have, like I said, if you didn't get your logs re read yesterday, then just type in chat and we'll see if we reviewed it already, okay? Because I disabled the channel for redemption. So we have Kiki's in there. Account created 2021, so a new account following since one hour ago. 100 messages in an hour. That's kind of crazy. Now, I talked about this yesterday, but whenever I get a new follow during a stream, we've gotten two followers today. Crazy. Especially on a holiday stream. I always get sussed out whenever somebody follows and then chats right away. Because I'm always conv convinced it's a bot. Because we've gotten a few bot chatters recently, but that's another reason why we are in 10 minute follower mode. That way we can avoid any bullies. So... When I whenever I see a first time chat message, I'm like, uh oh, uh oh. But Kiki was good. They opened with hello, Merry Christmas Eve, hype emote. Um, you can call me Kiki, and I go by they them. Answering the question, good job. Okay, I'm gonna get some candy canes. BRB back. I got some candy cards, <laughs> candy cans, <laughs> right next to me. Um, this was also good. Whenever somebody uses the follower, wait, can you see my cursor? You cannot see my cursor. Can you see when I highlight? Okay. Whenever somebody uses follower emotes, whenever I tell you to, that's another good sign. Because, basically, if somebody uses emotes that are yours in your own chat room, then they're more likely to keep ch chatting in the future. So, good job. Anything bad? I choose to like them, but opinions are opinions. So, this line, I got kind of scared. Because whenever somebody says opinions are opinions... It gives me debate Andy vibes, and I get concerned. But you know, Kiki hasn't done anything bad. Granted, it's been an hour. It's only been an hour. Um, get them up. Help. Ruin his house. Burn his home. Murder his family. This right here is kind of weird. Kind of weird. Nay, too nice. <laughs> kind of sus. What is this? Next time, you have to put in Minecraft, okay? In Minecraft. I found your channel by searching up Animal Crossing. That is good. We don't get a lot of Twitch Discover viewers. Now, man, I'm depressed. We should make depressed a block term. No trauma dumping allowed in my chat room. <laughs> my message got blocked. <gasps> An auto mod. It didn't. It didn't even. Wait, I need to fix my chat box. It's covering the thing. Hold. Hold. Ready, hold, keep holding. There we go. So, my message got blocked. So, okay, chatters. Do not self-report. If you get auto-modded, or if your message gets deleted, just rephrase it. Rephrase it. Because, obviously, there's gonna be default block terms, like slurs, and then saying, like, D-I-E. Like, I don't want people to say, oh, something died today, or die towards another person in game like let's say i also have kill disabled so if you get automatic just, just don't say anything don't self-report because i don't see them they just automatically get deleted so don't self-report just based on how kiki has chatted so far what i do like and this is what i talked about yesterday is i like when somebody is reacting to what's going on on screen so, Kiki, if you choose, if you like your vibe here today, if you like it, you enjoyed your time, had fun with me or other chatters, we would love to see you again. Because I think... I'm trying to think who Kiki chats like. I think Kiki is kind of similar to Crystal in the sense of they react to what's on screen. But not, not as crazy as Crystal. <laughs> 
So I, I think Kiki's a good chatter. Granted, this is day one. You still have time to be on the naughty list. If you fuck up in the next two hours, then you will be removed. <laughs> but I think Kiki is good. Good chatter. Ouch. Why saying ouch? Okay, does anybody else want to have their logs read? If nobody else wants to have them read, then we'll do random. Oh, remind me, I have to change my title. I have to change my title. Okay, this black pen is busted. <laughs> I need to find the VOD. It was yesterday's VOD. Okay, changing my title. So, oh wait, let's hide that actually. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to leak anything, but... Writing naughty. Okay, title's updated. Casmine is definitely a nay. Okay, I'm gonna grab another black pen because this one is dull. Or it's like not as sharp. Next, we have whoever said nay. I think it was Potato, but I feel like Potato says no to everybody. I think it's because they're looking out for me, you know. Okay, next. <clears throat> we have Impaled. Account created 2021, so new account following since May 30th. So right before my peak. Previously subbed for one month. Probably a gifted. Only 72 messages. So first chat in June. They chatted about two weeks after they followed. Hi. Hard about. I'm grown summer is forever. Impaled is fine. He they. Glad to finally catch a stream. That was intense. More points for me. I started with 300 channel points. I'm a 1k now. <laughs> Mole Kirby go brr. <laughs> that must have been a during Kirby. And the next stream was 626 about a week later. How's it going? I'm still a believer. A rare chatter who believes. It's not often we get believers. Um, during predictions like Mario Kart or whatever game, I'm not good at gaming, so it's not often I actually win. Besides the time that I do. There was one stream where I got like three first place in Mario Kart Online. That went crazy. <clears throat> I love that you let your viewers know about ads. Yes, because I heckin' love ads. And I don't want to get- I don't want to make you guys hate me for running ads. Let's be honest. Your writing's amazing? Oh, thank you. <laughs> we don't exist after Pride Month? Huh? <laughs> I love reading the logs because so many of them make no sense out of context. But what's cool is that when I read back logs, I kind of remember what we did on stream or what we talked about that day. What's everyone's birthstone color? I don't like people who like crystals, so I... Mine's purple. Amethyst. The color of your birthstone is Caucasian. <laughs> I'm April, so mine is diamond. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm gonna farm you guys for a little bit, Lamau. True, I say that all the time. We're not cattle, but it's funny. Okay, let's see. Dude, this must have been a short-ass stream, because I started stream at 11. 
And then, I assume I ended here because he said great stream ending. At 12.40. That was a short stream. Back when I only streamed for two hours every day. Impaled seems great. We want them back. Good chatter. Please come back. Impaled, come back. <laughs> we haven't seen you in six months. Come back. I always get kind of sad whenever I, I do look through logs. Like, today or yesterday. Because I'm like... Do they hate me? Because I assume, like, a lot of people lurk... But then I'm like, I miss the chatters. Honestly, chatters are great. We love the lurkers, but chatters are great. Okay, next. I'm surprised it ended up on the nice list, Kappa. I mean, you were kind of skirting the lines a little bit. Okay, next. We have Anthony's Awesome. Account created 2016, so an old Twitch user. Following since January 18th. Previously sub for two months. Only 27 messages. Wow. So the... You know I talked about earlier? I always get sussed out when people follow and then chat. So I think... This was either right before... So this is probably right before I was affiliate. I'm surprised it ended up on the nice list after saying to burn a villager's house down. I mean, we had the context today. If we would have looked back at your logs like in six months in the future, I'd be like, ooh, I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> Take him off the list. <laughs> okay. I'm here because I saw Rainy post you on Twitter. He had a show love. Oh, Rainy's nice. She always retweets when people are alive. It's nice. Ha, huh, there's nothing wrong with that. This makes me want to play Stardew Valley again. I've never played this. Or I've not played this in forever. Do you raid out? Yes, you can. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Oh, because, like, I think non-affiliate channels can still raid. But I know I personally block raids from non-affiliate channels just to completely um, block, like, hate raids. So, I just assumed that affiliates couldn't raid. But I think affiliates can still raid. Anyway. So that was January. Next time they came in is February. What? I got gifted a sub? Huh. You gifted me a sub. Lol. A. Rules. Oh my god, there's an Eevee on the chair? Yeah, I used to have a plush Eevee, but now I just have Pikachu. Because the Eevee kept falling off. Because it doesn't have, like, enough body? You could say? So that was in February. Next time they came in was July. Hold on, long time no see. Hope you've been well. Oh, the timing of that problem's not I'm not someone you want to know. What? I'm not someone you want to know? Is this... Are they self-reporting? Are they being sus? Kind of weird. Kind of sus. Hmm. 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 <laughs> They're just like me for real. <laughs> I don't know. This guy seems nice. They also came from Rainy's chat, and most everybody from Rainy's chat is wholesome. So I think Anthony is pretty good. Why are you saying nay? I swear, Potato says nay to everybody. I think Anthony is pretty good. We need more people like me. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> I think Anthony is pretty awesome. Nothing crazy, nothing bad. The only line that's kind of weird... Where is it? I'm not someone you want to know. That seems like something like a husky guy would slide over at the bar and tell you. Um, not that I would know because I've never drank. But that's what I imagine. Meg report in bar. I literally have never been to a bar. I've never been to a bar. She's biased. You know, everybody has their own personal bias, right? It's, it's not just me. I 
I will admit my bias when I have it. Oh my god, another good chatter! Sorry. I get excited when I see certain names because I, I immediately remember who they are. Oops. I spelled it wrong. We have Vora. Vora's been following for a long time. The account created 2018, another old Twitch user. Following since September 10th, 2021. So following for more than a year. Tier 1 sub for 5 months. I think Vora used to give me their prime, but they don't give me their prime anymore, so that's kind of cringe. Um, I remember Vora found me on the Discover tab playing Odyssey, I believe. Because I didn't start posting to TikTok until the very end of... No way they opened with a Miz give emote. Sad. 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 I mean, Miz gives emotes are pretty good. I used to sub, but then I unsubbed after um, October. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Okay, Ms. Gifio, do you play online? I only got a Switch yesterday and I've been getting destroyed, lol. Oh, I must have been playing Mario Kart. But I like playing against real opponents. Haha, <laughs> spooky stuff. I think it's more fun to watch them regardless of how you're ranking. I get that, though. <laughs> you was on your Twitch room. I know. I feel like Ms. Gif is a good entertainer, but probably not, like, the best person. But that's fine. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> You know, sometimes you like to watch a train wreck, right? Right. <laughs> I got Mario R Stars. Oh yeah, I have that too. Okay, so as I talked about before, um, back when you average like less than three viewers, a lot of your chat messages having one-on-one -on -one conversations with your viewers, which is fine, but that's not the type of vibe that I have now, now that I have a slightly more active chat room. I really- I don't really have friends! Me too, me too. Me too. Yeah, and they're just talking about themselves here. I don't think Vora has said- Wait, is that XQCL? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, the only emotes that I have are Hassan emotes, okay? I use Haas High and that's it. <laughs> Have you ever played Mario Sunshine? Dude, it's crazy fun. My favorite Mario game now. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of um, Voro's older vibes or logs are like just talking about stuff. And right here, right here. This is Vora chats very similar to how Batty chats. Um, like Clueless, Shirley, Madchek, Batchest, I love emotes. <laughs> this, this is when Vora's a good chatter. I love when Vora chats like this. Cope. Pepe Pong. Oh, XQCLTL. Oh my god. No. Fours and Y. <laughs> no, fours and Sub 2. Oh no. I think I was also making fun of Vora for like all the different emotes he had. <laughs> Hooing in chat? Did I who Megalo somebody? I must have. Sag Farewell Island. Oh, that's Fours and Despair. Um, this must have been the affiliate stream, January 24th, because this is when I was deleting my island. Yeah, just skimming through, Vora's logs are pretty good. When was the last time they were here? Oh, yeah, they opened- my TikTok got banned. Dude, no trauma dumping allowed in my chat room. <laughs> the December 16th. Vora's a good chatter. I like how Vora chats. They definitely skirt the line of, like, oversharing sometimes. But they haven't crossed it too much. Or, sorry, my shoulder. Vora, I think, is a good chatter. I think if Vora chatted a little bit more, like, batty, then they'd be the dream chatter. Are we oversharing? Oh, um, no, not really. Oh, no. No, you're not allowed to overshare. No trauma dumping in my chat room. That's not allowed. Read the rules. <laughs> Dude, everybody's gonna be clowning on that guy for forever now. Today I slept? Me too. I slept in really late today.
And why would she brush her teeth three times? I feel like that's not good. Too much of anything is kind of bad. Okay, next. What? No way. Okay, this user is not coming up. Yeah, they must have changed their username. Sad. I hate when that happens. Yeah, enjoy your gift and sub, Kimar. Had fun with the emotes and ad reviewing. Oh, this is another chatter I miss. I miss this chatter. Come back. We have Billy Mitchell 12. Um, I remember this person found me on TikTok. Account created January 10th, so a new user created this year. Following since March, previously subbed for three months. First chat, April 1st. This is when I did my first ever follower calligraphy stream. And that's always an interesting stream to start off with. Like whenever everybody whenever anybody starts watching during an art stream, I think Art isn't necessarily my main content. I do have a separate channel for art. Um, if you're new here, go follow my second channel, peace and underscore art. Um, but the vibes are definitely different for an art stream. Or kind of, it's similar to the cooking streets where like I'm focusing, so I'm not necessarily talking as much. So it's more focused on like the visual stimulant of what's going on on the screen. Um, hey, I came from TikTok. Your handwriting is really pretty. Mine is so bad, Lamau. I get that. I'm a writer, and there's so much to work towards. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> I do not have a social life. I have four papers due this month. True. Don't True. Don't forget to follow PC and underscore Beat Saber for free Beat Saber jamming. Okay, thank you, Titans, for the hundred bits. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah is there there's not even a channel called peace in beat saber titans what you need to do is make that your alt channel okay <laughs> i don't even play beat saber i don't even play vr games such a bad plug get okay, good but thank you for the 100 bits i appreciate you we're gonna add that to the journal at the end of stream and anyway, the way that mitchell chats i remember you know super cute Back when we had Rose in chat, I haven't seen them in a while. Um, Rose is from Rainy's chat, but they would like talk back and forth with each other and it was honestly cute. Cute. I love when you guys add each other. It makes it feel like you guys are so connected. Cute. I laughed at the dog falling. I'm horrible. I agree. You should be naughty. <laughs> I want a stream where you make a bug tier list. Peace to snicker. Would you guys watch me do a bug tier list stream? Type 1. Okay, this is June. Let the haters boost you? Exactly. Exactly. If you can't find her, can milk more content? This must have been an uh, Aurora hunting stream. Oh... The last time they chatted was June. Damn. It's been a long ass time. I hope Mitchell's okay. But Billy was always good. They never did anything. Because what happens a lot when people talk about themselves with their chat messages, they kind of do skirt that line. But Billy was a chatter who always respected the line and never crossed it. So Billy, come back. We miss you. I mean, I think they said they were writing, like, stories and books, so hopefully they find success in this year and next. Peace and Tearless should become a thing. <laughs> Hashtag Billy come back. <laughs> I mean, I did do a tier list with Cutie Lee, and I thought that was a pretty good stream. Oh, 
interesting. Guys, guys, guys. I was hoping we would get this user. We have Isidago. This case is a case I was thinking about before when I was planning the stream. I had a list in my mind of people who are on the naughty list in my head and that I would need convincing that they could go on the nice list. So Issa, um, account created 2020, following since February 23rd, tier 1 sub for 10 months. Issa's been sub for the whole time they've been watching the channel. We love that. They have one of the rare sunflower badges. Only I think Issa and Rainy have sunflower badges in my chat. Sunflowers, nine months. Most of my chatters have three or six month badges right now. Issa's a rare nine month sub badge holder. 999 plus messages. Because Issa is one of the chatters who crosses that parasocial line, okay? They have crossed lines several- Oh, what is this? <laughs> Held a message for reason, bullying. Peace in incel arc. Heart. <laughs> and then they got auto modded again. Apparently I can't say incel. <laughs> Lol. -mo. Like I said, if you get auto modded, don't self report. Don't self report. <laughs> Cold pizza, very poggers. I agree. I agree. Oh, this is during a tournament. Let's see. Batman, because capitalism. Batman is ungully smart and has a plan to not- or kill everybody- to not kill everybody, including superheroes. Very nice. Now, if we go back to- because these are logs- oh, this is probably during a singing segment. Emote spam. We hacking love emote spam. I'm a mobile viewer right now, Sag. Um, I hate mobile viewers. Watch on desktop. Watching Twitch on desktop is a far superior experience. So if you're a mobile viewer, I hate you. <laughs> it's still also backseat games. They used to do it a lot more because since they've been following since February, I only really started having the backseat gamer rule not allowed in like summertime because that's when I had more viewers. Um, you hate me. <laughs> I hate mobile viewers. Even though like 60% of my unique viewers and regular chatters are mobile viewers, I hate mobile viewers. Watch on desktop if you're able to, it's so much better. <laughs> Let's leave and no. No, leave and watch on your computer. That's what I want. Anyway, so these are logs from July. Issa has become a lot has become a, a better chatter. But back in the beginning, Issa would would skirt the lines a lot. And Issa was one of the chatters that made me make chat rules. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Because obviously some rules should have been in place. But Issa has changed for the better. So I think Issa is a reformed chatter. Previously naughty. But is better. So I think Issa is better. You just lost a loyal customer. Don't lie. I know you guys will be back next week. <laughs> you guys are always... You guys have notifications turned on. You guys are like... The more loyal viewers. Hi, Giorgio. Welcome in. Merry Christmas Eve. Dude, that G is like perfect. I won't. No, you better keep notifications turned on, bitch. Come on. Hey, okay, Giorgio. Welcome in. You do get a stocking on the tree. I'm never coming back again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you need to grind more channel points because you lost 15k today by being generous. You need to get those channel points back. Okay, stalking for Giorgio. Yeah, look at the pin message. Shatters, if you're lurking, if you type in chat, then you get a stalking. Wowie. Dude, ain't no way. In my random number generator, I got one. I literally got number one. This is my first ever follower.
my first ever Bioware. Look, following since August 10th. My first ever stream was August 2nd. So I didn't gain any followers until a week of streaming. Anyway. One time out? Wait, what? When did Yana get timed out? August 16th. Oh, Streamlabs timed them out for one second. Um, I personally use Twitch Automod because I feel like third-party bots are a bit too aggro. So, since there was only a one second timeout, I assume, because for the Streamlabs bots, you can, um, ban or timeout people if they spam all caps, if they have too long a message, or if they put, like, specific blacklisted words. So, since it was a one second timeout, I assume, um, it was just cap locks they used. Because, in the very beginning, I didn't use Twitch Automod until, like, September. So, all of my modded messages for the month of August were Streamlabs. <laughs> so, Yana has been following for a year. 949 message. Um, Yana is a lurker. I know she lurks. She also has her own stuff going on. Um, but it's not often we see- <laughs> Wait, what is this? No! Why are you laughing? Because, <laughs> uh, like, it's cool because they do art, they do biking. The way I found Yana was, back when I was a Zero View Randy, I used to go in the Twitch Discover tab and I would type in chats and if I liked the streamer I would follow and then they would follow back. Um, I don't do that anymore. I, I never did follow for follow because that's cringe as fuck and that's TOS. But if I genuinely liked what somebody was doing with their stream, then I would follow in chat. And granted, there's not a lot of streams in Discover that are real content. I am not one of them. I try my best, but I'm still learning. Um, I have the take of if somebody has less than three viewers, there's a reason why they have less than three. Anyway. Um, Yana is a good chatter. Um, Yana and I, because back when you have nobody watching, when you have one person watching, they kind of lead the conversation in terms of topics. And there are a lot of things that Yana and I agree on, and there's a lot of things we don't agree on. And that's fine. You can respect everybody's different perspectives and opinions on things. But... <laughs> Dumpster diving is indeed illegal. But people do it anyway. You'd be surprised what you find in a GameStop dumpster, though. Lamal. Literally self-reporting. Literally self-reporting. <laughs> At least a while back. <laughs> yeah, what did you do five years ago in the dumpsters behind GameStop? <laughs> That's good. It's funny because, like, Yana's actually funny. Because, like I said, back when you have not a lot of viewers, um, they kind of lead the conversation. But Yana's got some bangers. Oh, and they're so nice. They always say hi and bye. I love that. I love that. You should totally make your New Year's resolution to stream League of Legends only. Dude, I don't want to be a dead streamer. I'm already a dead streamer, okay? If I start League, you guys would literally never watch me. No, okay. I played Pokemon Pokemon Unite, and nobody watched. Oh, oh, wait. I think I had, like, two viewers at that time. But Pokemon Unite is League for babies. And if nobody would have watched Pokemon Unite, nobody would have watched me play League. I think League is one of the games where it doesn't push your commentary enough. I would watch, yeah, I would have Potato, my one viewer. After you literally said five messages ago, you're never watching me again. <laughs> I would watch you play League. Okay. Let's run a poll. Uh, I'm, this poll is not going to do anything. This poll means nothing. This is only for research purposes. And if I start playing League, I would literally have no fucking life, okay? Is that Teddy Fresh? Yes, it is. I love it. I like it a lot. Ch Chatters, Pokemon go to the polls. Pokemon go to the polls. Would you watch me play League? Why do we have two people say yes? You guys are literally lying. Okay, anyway, Yana's a good chatter. I'm doing good. Just got back from my walk. Things really do be changing when you get vitamin D. I love the cadence and the way Yana talks. 
Dude, I miss Yana. Come back. When was the last time she chatted? No. September? No way. I thought I we saw Yana last month. But damn. Yana's a good chatter. I miss them. Come back, Yana. I know you lurk all the time, but chat more. We'd love to see you, Yana. It is cool because um, she used to do like study streams. To where she would write like Japanese characters and draw. And those are really cozy. What chatters are naughty? I think we had Titans, Rex, and then... What was the last one? One more. Have you messed up a name yet on the list? No, I haven't. We haven't. <clears throat> if you played Unite, I would have watched... 37 million times over? No. Oh yeah, Nyx was the last bad chatter. You're right, you're right. <laughs> you are right. <laughs> okay. Lu Luigi was a previous naughty chatter, but they've reformed. We believe in reform here, okay? I don't believe in, in indefinite incarceration. Would you watch me play League? 60% said yes. Only three. Okay. I will play League if 10 people will watch me play League. I'm never going to play a game that is going to give me <laughs> less people watching than I have now. That's cringe. 141. I, and I don't mean right now. Because my channel averages 5 to 10 viewers per stream, depending on what the stream is. So, if only three people watch me play League, I'm not playing. And I'm not playing Unite either. No, no. Because Unite doesn't push my commentary. Play League, I literally don't have an account. I've literally never played. I've literally never played. And I don't need a game that I need to get addicted to. Because the games where you have to rank up, it, ma it makes you feel like you have to play, and I don't like that. Okay, next. We have Winged Yam. Account created 2019, following since June. Previously subbed for one month. Oh wait, chatters, talking about following, we are a little over 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to tell you if you're following the or if you're not following, follow the stream. You get cool emotes and you get to tap and chat. Um, chatters, what's your favorite follower emote? That way they can see what they are. And if you already saw, if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you get notified when I go live. That way you don't miss a single stream. Addiction is fun. That's not a good chat log to have in your in your logs okay wing dm only 10 messages so they followed june 26 chatted two days later two days later i'm leathery and bitter i've tried i was too lazy to peel the skin once oh i think i asked has anybody ever eaten like a banana skin um same skull emoji cope 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 capital d colon pepe please cope pepe please and then july 31st peace i just spin dude yeah, would be a great chatter. I love the chatters to just use emotes. They are honestly such good chatters. Because, you know, they don't need attention. They're not better than lurkers, because lurkers, you know, lurkers are great. But if somebody just uses emotes, they're there to have fun. Okay, they don't need attention. They don't need that parasocial juice. They just, they're just there to have fun. Yam, yeah, come back. Please come back. You would be a great chatter. We would love you here. Nothing bad. Only thing kind of weird is that they self-reported and said they ate a banana with the skin on. But otherwise, good chatter. We need a naughty chatter, guys. We need a naughty one. I really wanted to label it a naughty, but... I feel bad because they're on holiday. <laughs> and I feel like if Issa came into chat, you guys would report me. And be like, Megan called you naughty, and then they'd get sad. Dude, Yam is great. Why are you guys saying nay? Or are you saying nay to Isu? <laughs> Sorry, I have that song stuck in my head. <gasps> Immediately an auto mod message? Okay, so we have Twitter Pots still gaming. 
account created 2020, following since January. So right before I became affiliate. Um, 208 messages. I think Turtle found me from a TikTok clip. Because I remember this day, I got like 10 followers. Because, um, a TikTok did well. Um, uh, high emote. Hello, saw you on the clock app. Two more cusses. I started PG and that didn't last too long. That's hard. Oh, I must have been talking about... Like, not cursing on stream or something. Where's Santa now? Dude, he's still in Africa. It says he won't be on the West Coast for seven fucking hours. Where's Santa? Dude, there's a map right here. <laughs> Can you not see? Mario Kart 9 is on its way soon, Kafu. Every streamer I've met has had issues streaming at some point or another. You know what's nice? I like when people talk about streaming, but don't say they stream. Because to me, if somebody says they stream, it's kind of self-promo, but you can talk about streaming. If you stream, talk about it, but don't say I stream. Like, don't be too explicit on it, okay? I think my only active chatter who also streams is Titans. I know Issa used to stream, but they haven't streamed as much because it's cool. But Titans doesn't talk about streaming often, and that's good. So that's cringe. Now, you know how I told you guys I remember every single negative interaction I have? Hi Mads, welcome in. Chatters, chatters, first time chat Mads. Welcome in. If we get some peace side to yo's for Mads, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Enjoy your gifted sub. If we get some yo's, what does Titan do? <laughs> I don't know. They say how much they love hearing that people hate them i don't know okay i remember one interaction with pasta where is it did i delete the message ain't no way oh right here this was honestly really sweet um right here did they raid you? Yes, they raid occasionally. Um, your remote gave me inspiration for mine. Yeah, they they, <laughs> they also started using screenshot emotes, and that's honestly really cute. Because I've told you guys before, screenshot emotes I think are the best. I think they're fucking hilarious. And what better way to brand yourself than using your own face? Where is it? Mads is good. Prefer they them. Got a boss. Screenshot emotes for the win. Yeah, now that you have a gifted sub, use them as much as you like. We also have free follower emotes as well. <laughs> what you see when you're behind me on a bike, butt emo- Okay, I think anybody who has a butt emoji... Fucking weird, okay? I will never have an ass emoji. Okay. You guys know... I've talked about many times how I don't like being itemized. I'm not gonna say it, you guys can read the screen. But I'm telling you guys, it's the four to six month mark, right? Following in January, May. Yeah, I agree. It is a big offense. But. Because I remember in the moment, I ignored it for like five minutes, and then I said, you know, I don't appreciate when people use pet names, and then they stopped. Because, to me, to me, um, if anybody uses any form of pet names, like beautiful, babe, love, if it's unwarranted, I think those pet names should be reserved for your actual partner, right? Those were words I would use towards a previous partner, right? But using it towards a stranger, to somebody online that you don't know, it's weird. It is weird. It is cringe. It is El Riz. <laughs> Peace out to El Riz. Um, so, not many people have done this, thankfully, because most of my chatters are respectful. I explicitly explain my boundaries, that way nobody crosses that line. 
And we're also in 10 minute follower mode. That way we can avoid fucking pervs coming in. Because I know it sucks. We had a few new chatters, new followers. And they don't usually chat right away or they immediately unfollow when they see that I have 10 minute follower mode or 30 minute follower mode because they want to come in and harass you. And that's how it is for a lot of women on the platform, any fucking platform, okay? So I want to tolerate this shit. Granted, this was back in May, but it's different if somebody has been following for a while. Like I said, that four to six month mark is where people start slipping. But if you as the person on stream, the streamer, can explain if something is inappropriate in a way that allows them to understand your perspective and they change, I think that's fine. Okay? But if somebody new comes in, first time chat, hey babe, hey beautiful, insta clap, okay? Insta get fucked. Um, the reason why that's something to be like... <laughs> w miss, what the fuck? Light skin stare emote, what? Anyway. Um, the reason why I don't think it's appropriate for anybody to use pet names towards a non-partner is because it's indirectly itemizing you. Because I think it's fine to call someone pretty or whatever, but be more specific. Be like, oh, your hair is pretty, or that shirt is pretty. Like, do not... Do not use the general term of, hey, beautiful. It's, you're indirectly itemizing that person. And it's dehumanizing two way. It's not necessarily super bad. There are obviously way worse things to say. But don't use language that generalizes and itemizes. What is the light skin stare? What is it? Okay, anyway. Like I said, turtle changed their behavior and they're fine. They're fine. Anyway. This feels like ban appeals. <laughs> anyway, since they're reformed, they are a good chatter. That's my TED talk. Don't itemize people, it's not appropriate. I know whenever I go on that tangent, people will be like, Oh, Megan, but you are cute. You are pretty. But there's like a time and place for it, right? Because I don't want anybody to feel like I'm giving them positive attention for the wrong reasons. Like, I think it's totally fine to have, um, what you call it, to have, like, on your neck crushes, but you don't act on it. Because ultimately, acting upon a crush may make you feel good, but you don't know if you're making the other person uncomfortable. He should have been on the naughty list. I mean, that's the only thing that's kind of like skirting the line. But like I said, once I explained it, they didn't do it again. Because I think there's obviously some things that are warranted. Oh shit, my TV turned off. There are obviously things that are like warranted for a ban or like a timeout. But if somebody's able to... I dropped the TV room up. If somebody's able to change their behavior, then it's totally fine. All good. Because I know I kind of skirt the rules sometimes. <laughs> okay, I have to reconnect my headsets to the TV. POV, I watch TV. Okay. Oh my god, toy day? Yeah, are you gonna play Animal Crossing today? Okay, next. <laughs> okay. So, we have Rad Rocky following since March. That's an early follow. Um, account created 2015? Bro. They're probably a gamer. Three messages in the chat. Ayo, made it to a stream. You can call me Rocky, he him? So close. 
Um, only three messages in the span of two minutes? They probably came in and left. And that's fine. Maybe they didn't feel bad. But they didn't say anything bad. Why are you saying nay? We like the lurkers. What if they're like a lurker who watches every stream but they don't chat? Rules are, if they don't say anything bad, then they're defaulted to good. Just come back. Come back. We like the chatters. We like the lurkers, but the chatters, we have more fun. Not gonna lie. Sky, stop saying nay! This is how you scare the lurkers, okay? This is how you scare them. <laughs> but you know what else is scary? Having to watch ads, because chatters, we are three hours in the stream, three hours into Santa Watch, mod check, where is he? Where is she? Um, if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. And if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool follower emotes for free. Eight out of ten, let's fucking go. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We will see some of you guys in a few. Okay, I also need to make my paper longer for the list. It should be us here and only us here forever, Jet. <laughs> wow, I am so happy that I am subbed to peace in underscore 17. Everybody sub now. Exactly. I love when people show for me. That is the best. <laughs> oh, Mads, I'm curious. Um, are you a lurker usually? And what made you want to chat today? Or is this your first ever stream? I'm curious. Yes, very much so. Yes to what? <laughs> I asked multiple questions, I think. I was a lurker and sometimes still lurk. Yeah, I lurk in the more of the streams I watch as well. Because, like, I think it takes a lot of courage to type in a chat. Because, like, you know, you gotta feel the vibes. Because what if the vibes are bad? And then you just never chat again. And then it's awkward. I've been watching your TikToks for quite some time and recently been able to catch you live. Oh, that's great! We love the TikTok frogs! <laughs> but thank you for coming over. I feel like most of my chatters have found me through TikTok, so I'm very grateful for what the platform has done for me. But thank you for watching live. Um, keep in mind, a lot of the TikTok clips are from literally months ago, so it's gonna take me a long time to catch up on VODs. So if you want to keep up to date with like all the peace and lore, you gotta watch the lives. Okay, we have the Poetic Alien, following since October. Account created 2020. Only nine messages. I'll study hard. <laughs> Damn you, Mads, you just... Wait, did you fill out the Naughty or Nice survey? I think I, rem I recognize your username. Did you fill it out? I think you did. You did? No fucking way. Dude, a lurker fit out the server? That's crazy. Because <laughs> I remember, I didn't really recognize the name when I was doing the results, but I recognize it now. Damn, let's fucking go. Okay. October 9th. So they chatted five days after following. How long did it take you to learn calligraphy? Thanks. Hype emote. At Kobobo. <laughs> what? Why, why'd they at you? <laughs> what? Kobobo, do you remember this? October? Dude, why they why they at you? <laughs> okay, the only time the only time um people like at each other is to like call them out. <laughs> it was just the username, or people be like at so and so mods to have them banned. Why'd they at you? I don't remember why they added me. Fuck. Purple, please. I like it. Smile. They are nice. 
Yeah, everybody at Kobobo, what's going on? <laughs> okay, and they're adding lemon. What's a root vegetable? Okay, then they went on what? That's such a pretty purple color. Okay, they didn't say anything bad. The only thing kind of weird is just adding Kobobo. Why are they at you? Are they are they drama farming? That's rule number what? Four, no drama farming. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like they came in at the very end of stream. Like, for calligraphy. And this wasn't a regular stream, because it wasn't a follower. Why are you guys saying nay? They didn't say anything bad. Do you guys really want to label this guy naughty? Next chatter decides. Whoever puts yay or nay next, they decide. Are they good or bad? The only possible criminal offense is adding Kolbobo. Yeah, I remember seeing them in chat. Yeah, okay. They're good. <laughs> yeah, I think it makes sense that Kobobo decide because they're the one who's getting added, so. I don't know, kind of cringe. You gotta keep an eye on this guy. I don't like when people at my long-term chatters. We have Lorenzo the Cat King. Following since April 17th. Account created 2019. So fairly old account. Only 120 messages. So you can probably see what their first chat was. Oh, right here. 421. So four days after they followed. He? Hi. He? Him. Hi. I chew on a lot of things when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Hi. Who licks their siblings' ears? <laughs> The weirdest thing my sibling thing, wait, the weirdest thing my sibling probably did was fully eat a dog treat and like it. Wet dog food makes me throw up. No. Okay, I remember this stream. We were talking about weird things our siblings did. And my sister, to piss me off intentionally, she used to like, if we were like, uh, what's it called? Roughhousing? She would grab my head and lick my ear. It's it's way worse than a fucking whip, Willie, because she would like sh shove her tongue down my fucking ear canal. <laughs> and that was my story. And then Chatters proceeded to tell me what other weird things their siblings did to them. <laughs> Hi, I'm also sick, sad. Hi, peace I too smile, peace I too gasp. Hi, peace I do smile, you will find her today. Hi. <laughs> they say hi a lot, and then they just don't chat. <laughs> I love- Oh, they use the emotes, that's great. I- I like when people like my emotes, because it's not that they required a lot of work, but I- I just think it's really cute. I sucked on a dog treat because it tasted like real peanut butter and was made from real peanut butter. We were talking about that, and you chose to self-report. This will be reviewed in your logs next year. <laughs> Hi, am I in the book? Oh, I will. Oh, this is actually good. Um, because for the follower streams, which you do in the first of every month, if a follower comes in and their name is already written, I just say, hey, go check it out on Twitter. Because I, if I have to flip through the whole book, go through like 100 plus pages, it's going to get annoying, so... I think it's good when I try to redirect somebody, and they're receptive to it. That's really good. <laughs> we can all spin. Round and round we go. When will we stop? Nobody knows. Can that be a good copy pasta, Chatters? Can you make this the copy pasta today? That's actually really funny. Do not subscribe. Do not spend money here. <laughs> See, like, you can see how, like, their chat messages have evolved. 
to become a spammer, which I love. I love the emote spammers. Wait, what the fuck? As an Italian, pineapple on pizza is absolutely disgusting. That's a bad take. You know, let me ruin your heritage. <laughs> Every time I go to Subway, I use a coupon because I'm not, I'm not gonna be paying 20 bucks for a sub based. Always use your fucking coupons. We went to, or my sister and I went to Wendy's and we got three sandwiches, a frosty, and then fries. And we had a coupon, so we spent 20 bucks. But if we didn't have a coupon, then it would have been literally 40 bucks. Use your coupons. There's no shame. Is this like a 12-hour stream? No. Oh, the last time they chat was August. Oh no. They were only a summer chatter. They're probably in school and have homework every night. Come back, Lorenzo. The only thing kind of sus was them self reporting on their sibling. So it's not them, it's what happened to them. So I think Lorenzo is good. Where are the bad chatters? I think we should have made Issa a naughty chatter. You know, we need drama. Yeah, me too. A lot of these chatters I genuinely remember talking to. I just want them to come back. Come back. Wait, what? Oh, I typed in the name wrong. Lorenzo. <laughs> the reason why I like handpicked and went through all of my followers beforehand is because like imagine how awkward it is if I, if I pull up somebody's logs who previously followed and then they're not following anymore. Wouldn't that be really awkward? I think the Z might be the best letter in calligraphy. Yeah, it doesn't even look like a Z. It's quirky and I love it. <clears throat> okay. Banana Bro Junior 3. Got created 2018 and old, which got following since March. Previously subbed for six months. I think they got gifted every time. Cause that's crazy. Chatters. If you want to receive a gifted sub, type in chat. Usually earliest will gift chatters subs. And if you lurk or if you chat randomly, or if you're a recent follower, you're more likely to receive a gifted sub. So if you're not following, follow the channel. Easy. Is there any crazy chat logs? Um, um I don't know if I can like show them. Because I've only had to ban a few people, and they're like cross bans, so I don't want to like expose <laughs> why I've had to ban cross bans. Okay, so first time chat, they chat out on the day they followed. Can we see? No. No. Hi, I follow on TikTok and decided to join a stream. Also, by the way, you break that secret passage in level one. <gasps> what is this? Is this a backseat gaming? Peace, I to gas. <gasps> Got you no more hints. Okay. They stopped. They stopped. That's good. They learned. What are my, What is rule number three? No backseat gaming. Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong rules command. Oh, no. It's chat rules. Never mind. Ignore that. <laughs> yeah, rule number three. No spoilers or backseat gaming. I feel like since Luigi was put as naughty for reforming, Banana gets the best. Yeah. But still, second chat message backseat gaming? Sometimes it's painful watching the definition of insanity play out. Shut up, Beck. Stop- Stop defending the criminals! <laughs> oh, this was during, um, 3D World. Dude, 
If anybody watched me play any Mario platformer, I'm sorry. The power-up is easy mode. Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> I know, I'm bad at the game. Okay, so they're talking about the game. Believers in chat, they're a believer. Ain't no way. If you think this is stressful, wait until the later worlds, Lemo. You know what's also fun? Whenever I see a new chatter, just do the predictions right away. I think that's good. Mario's trees are so painful, especially the first one. Shut up. Shut up! Guys, I have limited mobility in my fingers. When I went to the doctor, because they were testing, like, the sensitivity in my fingers, like, my nerves, my fingers are fine. But apparently, I have lower sensitivity than normal in my fucking toes. So that could be why I can't walk right. But my hands are supposedly fine. Because what, what they did is they had, like, a hammer tool. No, it was like a... It, it was like a, a metal U on a rod, and they would hit it and it would vibrate and then they would place it on your fingers and then you had to tell the doctor when you stop feeling the vibration um so apparently i have full sensitivity in my fingers but my toes are fucked i don't know anyway i you're being ableist if you say i'm bad at a game i might have ms uh-oh <laughs> i'm fine i'm fine i'm, I'm getting unless okay enough trauma no trauma dumping in my chat room megan not allowed I know, Hamilton! Okay, they were really chatty their first stream. This is a lot of chat messages. Oh, then the next time they watched stream was in June. June! The Mario content was glorious. Bring it back for the holiday season. Um, right now in our queue is Mario Galaxy. So that's our Thursday um, weekly slot. Okay. <laughs> Did way too based. Subs, non-subs, non-followers, non-watchers, in order of not cringe. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Anka is the guest? Dude, you guys were simping crazy that day. Because you guys were like, please do not do a hunting. Keep Anka in Animal Crossing. Okay, so it seems like they talk about the game, and then they gamble. Okay, nothing bad. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Come back, Banana Bro. I feel like... There was one stream where I jokingly said, type a one in chat if you're Gage. And one chatter said, am I the only straight guy here, Lamau? And I think it was Banana Bro. I cannot remember who it was. But it wasn't a regular chatter. <clears throat> yeah, I avoid any, like, fan edit I see of Anka. Um, chatters, type 1 if you're Gage. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Dude, do I have like the most queer chat room? I swear to god. Anyway. 162. Uh, chatters, if you don't know I'm bi, I do have an LGBTQ plus tagged. Imagine. Okay. Let's get serious for a second. What do you think about people who use the LGBTQ tag, but they're an ally? What do you guys think about that? I think it's not okay. What's A and I? I is intersex, and A is asexual. <laughs> the red people. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? I think it's not okay. Um, I think it's okay because it's showing it's a safe place. There's a difference. 
I think they do it to have a badge. Is it? I don't have strong feel. Okay, okay. Let me ex let me explain why it's not okay. Imagine. Reverse the roles. Should a non POC person tag POC? Is that okay? Then you should tag ally. Of course, there's an there's a separate ally tag, separate of LGBTQ, because the A in LGBTQIA stands for ace, not ally. This feels different. No, no, no. That's no. Okay, you guys do not get it. Yeah, just use ally exactly. See, Crystal Mac, you guys don't get it. You don't get it. Is there really a separate badge if you use the LGBTQ tag? I don't see no fucking badge next to my name. <laughs> but... Me being POC feels like way more of a big thing for me than being gay. I agree. True. But... I, I remember seeing a post on Twitter because it was the streamer, a smaller streamer, saying how they raided out to somebody who was using the LGBTQ tag, but then the streamer they raided to said they were non, or they said they were an ally, and then they unrated. Because... You don't see it as malicious? They're, 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 I'll explain why it's not okay. Because why are you using a tag to identify yourself if you're not that identity? Because it's indirectly invalidating the people who do identify that way. Like, it'd be different if there was no ally tag or no safe space tag, but there are separate tags. But it, it's not that it's evil to do it, okay? It's not that it's bad. It's not that it's bad. It's just... It makes people uncomfortable. Okay. Example. Why if... Me as a viewer, if I want to watch somebody who's marginalized, which POC and queer people are, right? If I am purposely going to attack and I want to support a random queer person and I come upon somebody who is non-queer, I don't think that's cool. Yeah, you're right, Mads. It's it's not that what they're doing is like evil or bad. It's just it's it to me shows lack of perspective. Does it show the other tags they use as well? Yes, yes. That's why if I see somebody using ally and LGBTQ, I'm like, why are you tagging LGBTQ if you're an ally? Yeah, exactly. Cool, but you're right. When people are looking at for tagged content, they want to find something they can relate to. Like I said, it's like somebody who is non-POC using a POC tag. It's it's a similar thing because it's tags concerning identity. You cannot change your identity because that is who you are. Why should somebody who is not that identity claim they are? This isn't specific. Um, POC means person of color, so... They aren't specific enough for me? I guess. I think it's because... See, you guys don't get it. I think because you haven't seen... What it could possibly do. You know, I was also thinking that too, Gobo, because... Twitch has been really pushing... Really pushing the queer tags this year. They've been really pushing it. I don't know. I think the reason why Twitch is pushing and promoting those tags so much is because there was, like, the hate raids that were popping off middle of this year, right? And then last year. So they're kind of doing that to mitigate. I don't know. It's just something that... Um, because, like, I've had to explain to people why it's not okay to use tags that aren't related to your own identity. Um. <clears throat> I, I think it's... Mm, 
I don't know. It, it okay. I it the the thing is like if I see somebody using the wrong tag, it gives me ick. I've never seen anybody who's been bothered. Oh. <laughs> it's because you guys aren't on stream or Twitter. You guys aren't on stream or Tigger or Tigger Twitter. If there is an ally tag, then why would they need to use the LGBTQ tag? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's what it is. The reason why, like I explained earlier, is because people assume that the A stands for ally. That's not what it stands for. Is that that's what the dummy dumbs assume? I don't get caught up in my identity like that. Shroom. I don't know. It's like obviously it's not something that we have to agree on. I mean, like as a group, okay. What if somebody's questioning? That was another good point that I was going to lead into. Thank you for asking. So, I saw people, like, discussing it. And by the- In, like, discords and Twitter threads. So, if somebody's questioning, right? Or, let's say, for example, they're closeted for their own safety. It's probably still best to use ally. Because... Obviously, if it's concerning your safety... You probably don't want to labor yourself, right? And if it's for questioning, I think you can still use LGBTQ because Q is queer, right? I think that's fine. I think that's fine. It feels like it's gatekeeping. No, but why? Okay. I think this is fine to gatekeep because... We are- we are talking about people who are not part of the identity using the tag. That's what we're talking about. There's a difference. I don't know. It's- it's a very, like, interesting topic. Cause like I said, it's just like... Should I? A non... Like... Black person use a black tag? No. Cause I am not of that identity. I'm not of that race, that's not okay. I don't know, it's just like, hmm. You don't gotta agree with me, but you have to see it from other perspectives. That's different though. But it's, obviously with any form of analogy, it's never gonna be the same. But ultimately, that analogy is used because if somebody is using a tag to identify themselves that's not their identity, it's automatically um, undermining and undervaluing the actual identity that they're falsely identifying as. <laughs> Dude, that was such a long ass sentence. Well, I'm actually 0.0001%. <laughs> um, actually. I don't know, I think... I don't know. There's like so many different tangents. I don't know. Okay, we're not gonna... <laughs> okay. I know there's some chatters who agree and some who don't agree. But, like we talked about earlier, not everybody has to agree. I'm trying to think of... Okay, okay. Prime example. What if somebody is using the LGBTQ tag, but it's not a safe space? Like... What if they're using the tag to bait people? That's why I understood the perspective of the person who posted like, Oh, I raided somebody who was using the tag improperly. And I, it made me feel insane. You can say that about anything though? Hmm... That's another big reason why I don't raid out anymore. I only raid out to people I know. Because I cannot guarantee that other strays will be as safe of a place as we I try to keep here. So it, it's Oh mm. I think since there are more specific tab tags for like safe space or ally, they should be used and not LGBTQ. Because 
Because, like, ultimately, tags are used to sort out streams. And then also... Right. <laughs> are we gasping soon? Hey, Rainy. Rainy, what do you think about this? What do you think about this? I think Rainy had a good take. It's gonna happen no matter what. That's why you need to do your own diligence. Um, Rainy, we're talking about non-queer people using the LGBTQ tag. Is it okay or not okay? What if it's something that has to do with LGBTQ? Like playing a game? <laughs> like a gay-ass game? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Never- I agree. I agree, Rainy. I agree. I'm conf- <laughs> I'm confused. Why would I use it if I wasn't- Exactly, that's what I'm trying to explain to these motherfuckers. <laughs> Who's using it? Oh, we're talking about in general. To show it's a safe space. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, I keep on saying I don't know a lot because. I don't take myself seriously and I know other people do and that's whatever. Yeah. I think ultimately. Okay. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember when there was a whole uproar about non VTubers using the VTuber tag ironically? Do you guys remember that? Because the main argument against non-VTubers using the VTuber tag is because you are quote-unquote possibly taking away viewers or putting lower viewer streams further down the list of tags when you are not that category of stream, right? Like how some larger streamers were using VTuber ironically who are averaging like tens of thousands so the VTubers who have, like, less than 100 viewers would never get seen because they're pushed further down on the recommended. So is that fair? I feel like this is situational. Th then what situation is it fine for a non-queer person to use the queer tag? I feel like the times where it's okay does not outweigh the times where it's not okay. Guys, I've, I'm being a debate lord. Being a debate lord. If they're doing a charity, yeah. I feel like that's the only time where it's fine. That, that'd be the only time where it's fine because then it's creating indirectly good through the use of the tank. I feel like that is the only time. Yeah, safe space playing with or talking with somebody who is queer or charity. Yeah. But that does not happen often. Awareness as well. Ugh. But I don't know if awareness is good. Situational but easy for it to go south. I agree. I was told queer was a bad word. Queer is one of those words to where it was previously used as more of a derogatory slur, but a lot of people have reclaimed it recently. I feel like gay can still be used as a derogative, but similar to queer, it's not. It's situational in the context in which you use it. I'm surprised your message didn't get automated, Lamau. Because <laughs> those are both blacklisted words. <laughs> okay, anyway, can we PSA to shake and say that avoid using the queer tag if you're non-queer and it's still situational because ultimately having a space that is supposedly safe means no <laughs> stop it mac and chris you guys are bringing naughty chatters right now naughty chatters i think too many small streamers grow from lgbtq safe space when they aren't, they just put in there because it's popular! <gasps> See, I'm glad Rainy's here now. I'm glad Rainy's here. Rainy, it's late for you. Go to fuck to sleep. 
not standing on what I believe. Change their names to red. You should. You said you should if you really believe in something. Yes, using my quotes against me. Well, I really believe in this. I will keep this in mind when I stream as a VTuber. <laughs> um, I think a lot of it is ultimately when it comes to safe spaces, you wanna uh, you wanna act accordingly with the general consensus. And the general consensus is if you're non-queer, you should not use a queer tag. Because that's not cool. Anyway. Back to log. This is <laughs> sorry, that was a long tangent. I'm sorry. Isn't this supposed to be a holiday stream? Yeah. I mean, are we not supposed to talk about politics during a holiday? I'm gonna use all the tags, and you're gonna you're gonna get fucking cancelled, Mac. You're gonna get cancelled. Me and Rainer are gonna cancel you. Easy. Oh my god, another good chatter! I like this chatter. But you see, Mac, it's different because you you are part of that tag. If you are queer, you are POC. You you can use those tags. We're talking about the people who cannot use those tags. Okay, okay. Anyway. We have little Lammy. This was a good chatter. I'm, I'm sure some of you guys might remember Lammy. Because they've been following in October. Previously subbed for two months. Account created 2019. An older account. 123 messages. <clears throat> Chatted the same day they followed. Rare. <laughs> I'm straight now. I'm a boyfriend now. <laughs> Cabo. Dude, how that happened in less than two hours? Ain't no way. <laughs> Get off the tag. <laughs> uh, Belize, I just came for TikTok of you talking about someone's self advertising. Also, hi. Peace to gasp. <laughs> Pronouns. Oh my god, thank you. Oh yeah, because I think Mac gifted Lamia sub right away. <laughs> On the straight tag no. Wait, wait, wait. Can you even tag straight? <laughs> wait, I, sorry. It didn't leak anything. Well, the end is saying. I think an the another main point should be using the tag improperly is automatically hurting the movement. It's hurting the movement, it's hurting awareness. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Peace I too. What? <laughs> okay. Chris Pratt. Peace I too. Evil smile. That's the case with many things though. Crystal, you're giving me centrist vibes right now and I fucking hate it. Stop it. I hate centrist. I fucking hate centrist. Just pick a side. Just say you're Republican. I don't know what that word is. You don't know what a centrist is? A centrist is somebody who claims... You guys don't know what centrists are? Centrists are the worst fucking people. Because they are liberals. They will say, oh, I'm liberal. I'm a leftist. But I actually fucking hate taxes. And I hate immigrants. And I love fucking minors. And they're basically right people, okay? Centrists? I don't like them. Because they vote liberal, and they will, like, switch between Democrats and Republicans, but they will always vote in their own personal interest. Because if you look at the core... <laughs> I'm black. Yes, I know you're POC. I know you're POC. I know. I do! I do, teacher! <laughs> Yeah, it's so cute. Okay. Cent Centrists are- I hate them because they will split their ballot and they ruin it. They ruin it for what we're- okay. Because if you look at a lot of like Republican values and um, policies, they are very individualistic. They ca prioritize capitalism and profit. When if you look at more Democrat policies, even though it is still like, um, if you look at the grand scheme of how democratic policies they are, they're still somewhat right-leaning, but they're somewhat more left in the sense of more progressive, more towards, like, government spending towards, like, roads, 
government aid. Um, and then progressives, which are far left, but honestly, it's just more socialist policies, which aren't that bad. Um, so centrists are fucking bad because they split the vote and they still vote fucking red against the general population's well-being. Exactly. They pretend to be leaning left on social issues, parentheses, some of them, and then lean right for money, healthcare, and like school. Yeah, I agree. Centrists are fucking- I hate them. I hate them. Just pick a fucking side. Just say you're Republican and get on with it. I'm a centrist. Fuck. <laughs> okay, enough politics. Enough politics. Enough politics. <laughs> Guys, I'm a dirty socialist. <laughs> Who has no money? <laughs> Okay, anyway, I hate centrists. Why do people have to have a label? Um... I think... Okay, okay. People does not... Megan is lovely. Okay. I think labels are for people who need guidance. For people... Cause, okay, there's a lot of voters. There are people who vote based on party lines, there are people who vote based on individual politicians and the politicians perceived morality. There are people who vote um, based on more specific policies of each specific candidate. And then there are people who do not vote. The people who vote along party lines are fine, but they are not willing to look at more specific policies and the actual like um, things that the party will actually do when in comparison people who vote on individual policies or policy makers, they tend to be more educated, they tend to be more involved in their local communities. Um, why do we need that specific term? It's it. The reason why people need labels is because they're small-brained and they don't want to think about what they're voting about. People should vote on whether their values match up with their political party instead of the politi or political leader, not the party. Exactly, exactly. That's why. Because if... Um, if everybody voted on the individuals running for whatever office, then I feel like people would be a lot more critical of their local or state officials. I hate labels. <laughs> I hate labels. No, it's fine. It's valid. I, I do agree that labels can be constricting, but I feel like labels are good for people who don't want to like dive deeper into discussions. Like, it's- it's so much easier to say, oh, I'm a democratic socialist, or I'm a- I'm a socialist, or I'm a republican. It's very easy because there's a baseline core beliefs that each label has. <laughs> so, the clueless, yes. People who fully rely on labels for how they vote are clueless to an extent, but not as clueless as the non-voters. If you're a non-voter, you're fucking brain dead, okay? The people who don't vote and complain about, oh my god, taxes and inflation. They're freaking brain dead, okay? <laughs> Wait, but wouldn't those tags we talk about be labels? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! My dad complains about so many things and he doesn't fucking vote! Exactly! 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 I fucking hate the non-voters because they complain and they bitch! We need to have a debate stream. Dude, I would lose my fucking mind. I would lose my mind. Because I'm a girl. Rainy knows. I'm a fucking debate head, okay? I will... I will pick every little thing at you. I will find your cracks and I will break them open. I know how to dissect someone, okay? <laughs> we have- there's been so many times where we had long ass debate calls. <laughs> Voting is too much work? Oh my god. There is- you can register online for some states. You don't even have to do in-person voting, you can do mail-in ballots. That you can request a little pamphlet that gives you information about every candidate. Uh, just- guys, if you're old enough to vote, just fucking vote, okay? You may have the doomers and be like, Oh, my vote doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But honestly, it matters. Voting for your city people, your state people matters, okay? I'm just here for the morals. And being free-flowing as a person. And that's totally fine. 
That's totally fine. I'm just saying I hate the centrist. Okay, I hate the centrist and the non-voters. That's all that I hate. Okay, okay. <clears throat> anyway, I think Little Lammy's a good chatter. <laughs> Little Lammy watching back the VOD, waiting for their review. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, what is this 10 minute tangent? I think it's almost YouTube time. I think it's almost YouTube time, guys. I think we need to calm down. And by we, I mean me. I, I'm in full debate mode, okay? I am... If anybody brings up anything else, I'm gonna pop off. Are we gonna watch food? No, we're gonna watch cartoons. We're gonna do a watch along. We'll explain it later. Thank you, Rainy. See, Rainy always agrees with me, unless she doesn't. Now that I think about it, I think... Wait, Rainy, did me or... Did me and you or me and Cutie agree more and shit? I feel like I agree with Rainy more so on a lot of things. What if there were a bunch of people who vote for the bad things in the state then leave the state after? Well, then they'd have to fucking move, okay? They'd have to move. And that takes a lot of work. I don't think dummy dumbs would vote in California just to change California policy when it's already pretty fucking blue and then move to Texas because they're fucking hate taxes. You know what's funny? Katie or Cutie Lee actually was in debate club. <laughs> she took the debate classes. Yeah, Katie's great. When is she gonna stream again, Saj? Macha Cutie Lee? Well, okay. Because when you move, or whenever you move, you have to register to change your address, which I did, and then you have to request to change your voting ballot address. Um, yes, there are cases where sometimes there may be, like, another ballot sent to where you previously lived, but that is minuscule when, like, voter fraud does not happen. It does not happen on the massive scale that Republicans claim it does. <clears throat> debate club goes hard. Mac, were you in debate club? Type 1. <laughs> Dude, I should have been in debate club. I would have gone crazy. I wasn't banned though, I think that's worse. <laughs> Unless <laughs> Bussy Oh no. You did the musicals fucking gauge. <laughs> okay, anyway. Radiant smile. Following since July. 112 messages. Let's see, when did they first chat? Wait, did they cheer bits? No way. <clears throat> okay, first chat in September, so they waited two months. Wow. Hey, I finally made it to a stream, smile. Lama, I was just playing and I rage quitted. <laughs> I've been trying to get three stars on all maps and 200. Oh, so they're Minecraft frog. I literally didn't care about 200 until I saw you play on TikTok. Ain't no way. We love the TikTok frogs. <clears throat> Bro, I'm always lurking on your TikTok and watching the clips. Let's go. We love the TikTok frogs. I suck at typing. Me too, man. Me too. Lamau, I used the kitty car piece. I too smile. <laughs> hey, yo, art. Oh, they do art too. That's cute. I tried to stream one time, and my first stream was me trying to figure out my mic. Me too. All of us. We were all there. My boyfriend was my only viewer, and he just kept saying, I can't hear you. Oh, damn. Sad day. Where's Santa now? Where is he? Dude, he's still in Africa. It says he'll be here in six hours. 24 hour stream one. Okay, the neighbors are playing loud ass music. You guys shouldn't hear it, but I can hear it. It's bugging me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The cursed. That's South America? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm literally fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was never good at geography, okay? I was never good. <laughs> yeah, peace I too, bro. Because <laughs> I'm tired. I'm usually... I'm usually getting for bed. Getting ready for bed around this time, okay? I'm... I'm like, washed up. I brush my teeth. I go to sleep. Back when I had to do those geography quizzes in fifth grade, dude, I literally cried. Story time, story time. Okay, back in fifth grade, 
It was required to learn the locations for every single fucking country and every continent, okay? We'd have quizzes once a week for every continent. Um, and there was one song we had to sing to learn the capitals of the states. And I remember one of my fifth grade teachers, he had like a DJ set up in his room. It was actually pretty sick. But it was required to sing the song in front of the whole class. And I remember, this was fifth grade. So this was when Megan had like anxiety, but nobody knew. And she also really needed glasses, but we were too poor to get glasses. So there's just a lot of shit going on, okay? And I was always anxious. And when I had to go up to sing, I was the last person to go, or like the very end, the very end. <clears throat> and I remember I was walking up the steps to like the mini stage he had, and I'm just like bawling. I'm crying because I'm so scared. And I go to sing, and I'm just crying. I'm bawling. I got a zero on it. I failed that test because I couldn't sing in front of the class. Anyway, that's why I hate geography. Get back to logs. I think radiant is good. Isn't it kind of weird that I stream? That That is weird to think about. Like, I am anxious as fuck. I'm antisocial. And I, I stream. Isn't that weird? <clears throat> um, okay. Offense number one. Do you have a Discord? Open face. Valid. Peace I to punch. See, whenever anybody asks, Do you have a Discord? I would love for you to be my Discord kitten. Um, sorry, I'm I'm really fucking tired. That's why I'm getting more quirky. Okay. Um, anytime I ask, do you have a Discord? I say, oh, I don't have a Discord for my personal safety, and they're like, oh, valid. Maybe it's because you don't see most of us in person. Yeah, imagine we had ten people sitting on my bed. Nope, in my bedroom, not on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, isn't that wild to think about that people will automatically like minimize the impact that small streamers have when in reality 10 people is a lot or like even three people is a lot they, they were probably well they're asking for a community to discord of course <laughs> okay talking about small chat discords um, the issue with streamers who have a very small platform and they have discords, the discords are dead, or the people who do participate in the discords are fucking simps. And that's weird. I don't like simps, okay? Only good chatters. Do not itemize your streamer. That's cringe. You can only... If you want to impress your streamer, give them a million subs and maybe they'll bang you. I'm kidding. <laughs> of course. Anyway, do you have a discord? Sus, okay? That's sus. I always love watching streams because it feels like I'm on FaceTime. Huh. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, they were really active for their first time chatting. I've never seen real snow before. Damn. <laughs> Did I hear that right? Flip it. <laughs> Save it for later. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding! Mods, disable clips. Wait, did they only really chat during one stream? No way. No way. Oh, they were good. Come back, Radiant. Come back. Damn. See, I get sad because look, they were so active. They were chatting for 1216 for nearly two hours. And then they never come back. Sad. Come back, Radiant Smell. You were a great chatter. Come back. I feel like I've seen them multiple times. I think maybe I see... Because sometimes people's usernames are their Twitch usernames as well. And that's kind of... Maybe that's where I'm seeing them. Because I see this name all the time. Sag, come back. See, I'm getting sick. I'm just like, why do they never chat again? Is it me? Is it me? It has to be me, right? Um, type one if you hate me. <laughs> you type one, you get banned. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> two. Thank you guys. Thank you. Three? What does three mean? <clears throat> I was about to say the number less than one until I heard band. Yeah, nice save. Two, but the free ban is so tempting. Keep in mind, if somebody gets banned in my chat, then you get banned in all my friends' chats. So, have fun with that. <laughs> you know what? You know what's kind of funny? So, on Twitch, you can ban or timeout people. Ban means you can basically never chat again until a moderator unbans you, but a timeout just means you can't chat for X amount of time. But some people are so D.U.M. and they think a timeout is a ban and they lose their fucking mind. They're like, oh my god, I can't chat for 10 seconds, I'm banned! <laughs> but it's just temporary, it's like timeout chair. Like, don't lose your mind, it's just a chair. Who wants to get timed out? <laughs> okay, so we have Jay Butler, following since June, so in my peak, a new account made this year. Previously sub for two, 181 messages. So they chatted and then followed the same day. Oh, they f I, I usually get a lot of followers on the calligraphy stream. Because I was clickbait. I'm like, oh my god, if you follow, I write your name. Ain't no way. And then, oh my god, hi. Those cheapest sugar cookies that you can find at any store are amazing. Yes. This is my new favorite thing. Peace I do punch. Thank you. I think they subbed with Prime for their first ever stream. I've been watching you on TikTok for so long, and I thought I'd support a funny, lovely, small streamer. Oh, Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Oh my god, people think I'm funny. Ain't no way. Oh, oh my god. I got scared. I thought they said I love you. I was like, oh no. Your emotes are wonderful. I love when people say they like the emotes because... I feel like emotes are such a big part of chat culture, and I'm glad you guys like them. <clears throat> what would you say is the right way of punching a child? Making them stand in the corner beating them? I hope you don't say that. Or what would you suggest is the better way to handle it? <laughs> um, obviously don't beat your children. That's like illegal and immoral. And there's been studies proven to where if you spank your kids, they're like morally scarred and like mentally fucked up. Um, I've been getting like a lot of parenting videos recently, like my recommended feeds. And I think the best approach is like gentle parenting, which yes, you could be raising like little pussy ass little bitch kids. But it's like, you're not gonna fucking traumatize them, okay? Like, traumatizing your kid is not the way to discipline them. I was a person who spanked as a child, yeah. I, I think it's weird. Because I think in most states, the only way you can legally spank a child is on, like, their bear behind. Which, I think it's weird to, like, strip your kid down. I think that is invasive. It's obviously your violating your child right and you're like physically hurting them i know some people say like oh well i'm fine i got spanked but it's like just because it work worked for you doesn't mean it's gonna work for every kid children be tricky yeah just guys don't have kids easy clap i was never spanked i was never physically disciplined but i got the timeout chair and i hated it Life hack, don't have kids if you're aggressive. <laughs> I used to be scared of my dad. Yeah, that's that's the sad thing. Like you you never want your kids to be scared of you, and that that's very unfortunate. I'm sorry that you experienced that, and I really hope with the experience of the past generations, hopefully you can change the futures of the next generation, right? Dudes, I think Mads is my favorite chatter now. They've been funny all night. Mads, watch every stream, please. We need you. 
I'd love to have children, says the gauge chatter. <laughs> Let's end this world from having humans. Whoa! Let's not go that far. Let's not go that far. Wait, I, I was gonna talk about this TikTok earlier, but I, I, dude, I saved it, but it was this girl talking about, um, yeah, I know queer people can have, like, surrogate mothers and, like, adopt Wowie. Um, it was this girl talking about how a lot of the poor working class feel like they need to have kids because since they're working so much, they don't have time for their passions or hobbies, so they feel like they need to fill that void of lack of happiness with children, but they can't afford it. And it just repeats the cycle of not being able to, like, support your kid to the fullest. And that's why in, like, more older times, you see a lot of richer people being the ones having kids, not the poorer classes. And it's just like, damn. Basically, people will be having kids because they're bored and feel like it'll make them happy, but it actually makes them miserable. And I was like, Jesus Christ. I ain't ever having kids. <laughs> Thank you, Mads. <laughs> what are your thoughts on sleeping streams? To BH, they weird me out. I watch Amaran sleep sometimes, so I love them. <laughs> joking, not joking. You know what's great? You know what's also great? Back when we were doing the sketch cards. Uh, what is it? If you give five subs, then I will draw you at the end of stream or at the end of the month. Um, when when I clickbaited, I was like, "Oh, if you give five subs, you'll get a card." Jay Butler gifted five subs immediately. She makes me so sad. Uh, the whole thing with Amaranth, I assumed that she was being exploited, and then when it came out, I wasn't surprised and I was saddened. Because it's one of those things where you assume something's going on. And it, it's sad when it's true. Um, uh, with my understanding, she's in a better place now. Like, that individual is no longer in her life. But I think it does not minimize the work that she's done or the work that she's still continuing to choose to do. You've never watched Amaranth? <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Dude, she's great. Uh, but obviously her content's not for everybody, but as long as, because I think the main thing that was super sad to me is how people saw her as a role model in the sense of like, you know, you're doing so much, you're experiencing so much like hate or negativity online, but you're doing it on your own volition. And um, when it was publicly announced that she was being exploited and abused, it was very sad to see that people were still, like, hating on her. Um. Like, I remember when I was watching, like, clips of it, I was fucking crying. Um. Because a lot of, like, sex workers experience that. And it's just re it's really sad when you see someone who you assumed was doing everything on their own, and they were not. And it just goes to show that it's very easy to hide things. For, obviously, their own protection. Because anybody who experiences abuse, it's not easy to get out of that situation, right? Because you're worried about your safety, your family's safety, you're worried about your stability, your financial stability. Um, so, I don't think it's fair to ever criticize a victim of abuse. Anyway. j is a good chatter. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen them. <laughs> Pre-recorded. Mega just shoved me off my bike. What is this? Is this slander? I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I miss Butler. When was the last time they chatted? August? Damn, a summer chatter. I miss- there's so many chatters who were able to only watch during summertime and I feel bad. I would change my stream time, but it works best for me, so. I don't know. I don't know. Jay Butler was a good chatter. Come back, Butler. I think Jay Butler also had one of the best sketch cards I've ever done. Theirs is beautiful. Why are you saying nay? Don't get mad at the chatters who don't chat anymore. <laughs> if you're mean to them, they won't come back, okay? Cut. 
Who <laughs> stopped the bike by Megan yet? <laughs> Let's give them hate for my supposed assault. In game, in game. Um, you know what else happens in game? Running ads. Because chatters, we are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. We are four minutes for four hours in the stream, and where the fuck is Santa? Where is he? He is in the Dominican Republic. Wowie. Um, so if you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Get boomed and on subs. Okay. Um. Do you guys want to do something more chill now? We've done a few more logs. Um. Which <laughs> Um. Isn't it technically North America? Right? It's North America? Right? Yeah, Puerto Rico. I think we've already gone through Caspian's logs, right? Well, if they're not here, we cannot report. Central America? No, but no, that is not a continent, right? There's north and south. Okay, chatters, let's do a poll. Do we want to do something more chill or do we want to keep doing logs? Because I still need to wrap presents. What are we doing? Because I'm honestly getting tired. I'm crashing. What are we doing? More logs? By logs, I mean like more naughty or nice reviews. Or more chill. Because I need to wrap presents. <clears throat> Cult of the Lamb? No, that's for subs only. We Wait, we hit our sub goal. Holy. Dude, we're at 60 subs? You guys are crazy. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to do Cult of the Lamb. Maybe next week? I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see where... Okay, chatters, vote on the poll. Pokemon, go to the polls. What are we doing? <laughs> Just because you want to see Caspian doesn't mean we're doing it. Where is Puerto Rico? Oh, wait, Caribbean. Caribbean continent. What? I spelled Caribbean wrong. I, put, I forgot to be Car Caribbean. Caribbean is in North America. I was right, I told you guys. See, all that crying and I still learn something. Just one more. I'm not doing Caspians. It has to be random. We have to be true to the rules. Okay, we have a majority chill for now. Let's see. For funsies, let's see what would have been the next person. Okay, the next person, none of you guys know. Because they've only chatted one time. So it doesn't matter. Okay, let's do something more chill. Um, how do I end the poll? I voted. I I used my democratic right and voted. <clears throat> good night. Thank you for the company. Yeah, for sure. Hope you had a good time, Kimar. Uh, we will see you next time. Enjoy that gifted sub. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> I'm Markiplier. <laughs> Thank you, Kimar. <laughs> Hope you had fun tonight. Okay, we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill for a little bit. Maybe we'll do more logs later, but I need to chill. Chill. The Democrats ruin everything? Yeah, fuck the Dems, honestly. Speaking of Markiplier, I did not buy his OF. I did not buy it. I got very close, but I did not have $5 to spend. Okay, also, gentle reminder, if- We can do stockings now. If you type in chat, you get a stocking on the tree. If you type in chat and you haven't chatted yet, you get a stocking. Wowie. <laughs> Too tasteful. <laughs> the only thing I saw was Moist Critical's review of it. So I, I didn't see anything. You know what I do have, though? You know what I do have? Because Markiplier released, like, a Tasteful Nudes calendar, like, two, three years ago. And I bought one. I have it in my drawer. I'm not gonna show it. 
because it has some ass in it. But I did buy his calendar a few years ago. I think we will do stockings and then I need to wrap some presents. Should show. I would get clapped. I would get clapped because you can't show ass on Twitch. You can show people in swimsuits, but you can't show straight ass. You should DM me on Twitter. No, no, I ain't gonna do that. No. -uh. Did he repost the pictures from the calendar? I don't remember if he did. Anyway, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, right now, I'm taping people's names to the stockings. If you type in chat, you get a stocking. Wow. Smile if you've gotten a stocking. Okay, I see it's sticking right. Hi, Nyx. Welcome in. You get a stocking. Can we get some yo's for Nyx? Ain't it late for some of you guys? Tell me what time it is for y'all, because it's 8.15 for me. The mini stockings are so cute. Yeah, they had 12 packs at my local Big Lots, and they were $5 each. So I spent $10. Nine for me. Oh, so then... Oh, then you're probably, like, central then, Sly. Or Slyvion. 10, 13. Damn. Is anybody... I feel like I have no P... I have no West Coast viewers. I have literally none. Who's gonna be here all night? Who's gonna be here all night with me? Anybody? Who's a real piece in 17 fan? Cause I... I'm out of tape. 8.13? Oh, Giorgio's PST. I'm, I, I'm out of tape. I literally used all the tape. What am I gonna do now? I have no tape. Because I stole this tape from my sister. <laughs> oh, okay, I need to get more tape. Chatters, we're going into brief email only mode. Behave. Um, have fun. Spam your favorite emotes. Wowie wow. My favorite is... Um, peace I2. Spin. That's my favorite. I'm gonna go grab more fucking tape. Yeah, not me. Crystal, you behave. <laughs> I'm special. Um, type one if you're a VIP. <laughs> okay, I want to go grab more tape. I I have no idea where we would have more tape. Shit. Dude. If I have no tape, then I cannot wrap the presents. What am I? What am I gonna do? has like a little bit left and then I have regular packing tape. I also realized I need to use the restroom so I will be right back okay. Santa's in the US ain't no way. Ch 
chatters, now that you've typed your favorite emotes, spam your least favorite emotes. I want to see your least favorites. Why would you spam every single one of my emotes as your least favorite? That's not very nice. That is very mean. <laughs> that is very mean. All I'm gonna say, it is very nice since I have the master bedroom. I have the restroom in my room. It is very nice. Uh, what was I doing? I need scissors. Dude, I am like tired. You are getting a rare Megan that is on um, very little sleep. And this is where I normally, like, crash and burn. Okay, let's finish the rest of these stockings and hang them on the tree. <laughs> if you want your stocking on the tree, all you have to do is type in chat. If you're typing for the first time today, I will give you a stocking. Do I really not have enough stockings? I hope I do, because... I bought 24. Isn't it a bit late to be on devices? Yes, but I'm not going to be doing anything tomorrow. I think tomorrow... Oh, do you guys want to see the rest of the paintings that I have prepped? I didn't start painting them. I literally haven't started all week. I had all week and I didn't start them. Because um, I'm painting like anime paintings for my... Um, for my friends for Christmas, but it's going to be a late Christmas gift because I didn't get it done in time. We're going to blame my anxiety and depression. <laughs> yeah, everybody's free. You guys can talk now. Thank you for the laughs and debates. Of course. I love debating. But good night, Crystal. Thank you for hanging out. We will see you next time. Hopefully, we'll get to see you more since most everybody's on winter break. But have a good night. Rest well. Hopefully, you get some good presents. I think my next stream will probably be next Tuesday. Or Wednesday and then we can talk about stories after because I didn't do enough story times today during Animal Crossing because I got distracted did I run an ad I did okay I always forget after I run an ad anymore. Fake fan leaving the stream. Says the guy who says they're never gonna watch again after today. I can be the ad, yeah. Can you show some follows for me? Any new followers? Not so much. I just discovered a way better way to tape this. How many chatters have we had today? We've had a lot more chatters than normal. Um, I'll count them at the end. I think it's because a lot of people are free during the evening and it's holiday and it's time when people go to bed. So hopefully you spend time with your families. Probably at least three. Yeah, we've had a lot of chatter today. We have had two new followers who chatted right away, which doesn't happen often. I've only been getting bot follows recently. I haven't gotten follow botted in a few months. But I mean like people who follow and then they type like a bad message like spam. Okay, let's see. I have... We've had 
16 chatters today, that's a lot. Because usually for a normal stream, I have 5 to 10 unique chatters. So 16, I mean, it's granted it's a longer stream, so. Look, you guys all have little stockings. Um, type 1 if you see your stocking. <laughs> Let's actually go through them. We have Water Human, Dino Crystal, Kirby, Caspian, Downs, Rockhead, Mashed Potato, Slavion, or Sla um, Sly Slavion? Tell me how you want me to say your name, because I say it different every time and I feel bad. Um, Kiki's not here. Kamar, Nyx, Time, Titans, Giorgio, Not Mac, and Pobobo. Bye for real this time. I'm never coming back. <laughs> Yeah, bye, Potato. We'll see you next time, hon. Hope you enjoy your holiday. Bye-bye. Okay, let's hang the stockings now. What's cool is I purposely, when I was decorating the tree, I put all the lights on the inside because I kind of like the underlining it gives on the ornaments. And then, um... Because I always get scared, like, leaving things on the tree if a light bulb is touching it. But since the light bulbs are on the inside, I don't have to worry. Happy holidays? Happy holidays. We're gonna paint all our stockings. So like, maybe Santa will give you guys something. I don't know. Have you guys been naughty or nice? I think the only person that has a stocking that's been- oh, Wait, Titans and Nyx have been naughty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, I can see it online. Also, don't feel sad if your stocking isn't facing the front. I just need to make room for everybody, because I have a lot more stockings than I thought I'd use. I thought I would only get 10 chatters fit, because I thought everybody would be at home. But I assume, like, most people... Kind of like me. Where you kind of choose who you spend your time with. And I think it's fine to be alone on the holidays, but... Don't, like... Don't think about it too much. <laughs> Like, it's fine. You know, you gotta respect your boundaries with certain people. Santa comes here in like the next like hour or so. Ain't no way. Five gifted? Thank you for the gifted, Nyx. I appreciate you. You don't have to, but thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, hon. Oh wait, Nyx, you can get a sketch card this month. So send me a picture on Twitter, hon. I appreciate it. Also, get a new job. You need a new job. <laughs> well, let's see who got the follows. Or who got the gifted? Patch got it. Leia and Vosh. Nice. Why do I feel alone when you go piss? <laughs> Is that what you said? <laughs> I don't Just because I'm not on screen doesn't mean I'm not here, okay? I'm here. I can barely give as many subs as I'd like to. That's kind of what I've been feeling. I feel bad because... I haven't been watching as many, like, small streamers because I'm the type of person where, like, I will try and donate every stream I watch, like, whether it be, like, a gifted sub or a bit cheer. Because I feel like it's similar to, like, tipping a service worker. In my opinion, that's how I see it. If I can afford to, then I donate. But I, I just can't afford to now, and I feel bad. I don't know. If you type in chat, you get a, you get a stocking on the tree. Wowie. But genuinely, anybody who watches, don't ever feel like you need to donate. Because, you know, as long as you have fun in chat, or if you have fun lurking, then... It makes me feel like my time is worthwhile. Thank you. 
Everybody's on the tree. Very nice. Okay, let's see. What needs to be done? Hmm, I need to wrap presents. And then we can do a watch along. So I need to... I need to get a table space. I think we're gonna be done with Naughty or Nice list for now. And mainly because I need table space. So we're gonna change our setup a little bit. <coughs> because of course, of course I procrastinated and didn't wrap anything. While I'm getting everything set up, if you are new here, then make sure you're following my Twitter. That we get updates about stream. Now I just have to cross my fingers. I don't like unplug anything. Because if I unplug shit, it fucks it up. I thought I unplugged my camera, Lamau. That could have been bad. I definitely need to save up for a new camera capture card though, because the one that keeps glitching is making me really mad. But Elgato's cost like 200 fucking dollars. It's crazy. Actual scam, I know. <laughs> I'm exposed. I'm a laptop streamer. All it takes is one unplug of the ethernet and then you guys die. What is that emote? What is that? The <laughs> moist emote? I don't watch a lot of Moist Critical's live streams, but I watch a lot of the YouTube. I need this camera for later. No, I, I don't need this camera. What if I, for a funny prank, unplug my ethernet? Would that be funny? Would you guys Pepe laugh? <laughs> Totally. Nice. Oh, I don't have enough room. Hmm. Okay, we're not gonna need this chair. That'd be so quirky. <laughs> okay, because I needed to move the table over here. Tinnitus? I think I might. Okay. I think I have the table set up now. I can see chat. Okay. So. I procrastinated. I waited till last minute. I didn't wrap my friend's present. And by friend, I mean one friend. I was broke and they took all of the budget. So, for said friend. I have a super obnoxious gift bag. 
It is covered in glitter. It was the only bag enough big enough I could find to hold their present. And you touch it and you get glitter everywhere. I hate it. I hate it. It was five bucks. I regret it. Okay, for actual gifts. Oh, look what I found. Our letter. <laughs> So for actual gifts, this is my debut YouTube Factor channel. <laughs> debut, debut. My table isn't like big enough. That's a problem. Okay. Then I also have this hat that I had that I found at GameStop. It was half off. We're keeping the tag on because I think it's funny. This was $16 on sale for $8. Let's go. I have strawberry yogurt pretzels that I initially bought for myself. And then I was like, oh shit. It's going to look bad if there's only three things in this gift bag. So they are getting these pretzels now. I have... Um, spicy bean boozled. Wasabi peas. And a dusty variety kit of hot sauce that I bought last year for them Christmas and I forgot to give it to them. So they're getting it this year. Very nice. <laughs> Um, awkward. I, I literally forgot to give it to them last year. I was like, oh, well, it says they all expire last year, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. What a solid gift. I know. When's the actual expiration date? Nutrition facts. There's literally zero. Zero calories. Zero fat. Zero sodium. <laughs> How is there no sodium? Best by May 15th, 2022. How about we just, we just do a little, we're gonna be a little bit sneaky. We're gonna be sneaky. We're just gonna. We're gonna cover it up. We're gonna cover it up. They will never know that it's expired. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. We get some peace I two yo's. Menace Megan, shut up. Shut up. Okay. So the strat for wrapping presents. I am a pro. I could work at Macy's and be in the gift wrap department. Okay? That's how good I am. Now, I need to remember how to do this. Okay, so what you do, the strat. You move everything out of the way. Moving the mouse over here. So. I can either... I think it's better if I roll it this way. Because the flaps are going to be on the long side. So you line up here. And what's nice about wrapping paper is that it has the grit, right? Um, type 1 if you've wrapped a present before. Type 2 if you've never done it and you've relied on your parents your whole life. I would type two. <laughs> so you have your one piece down, rotate. This present is actually a lot bigger than I thought. And then you probably want to leave. Oh, and there's one more face. You're gonna want to leave at least like one to two inch overlap. That, because when 
the wrapping paper comes together, you need a little bit of overlap so where, that way you're not taping on the actual surface of the pen. Now, you know the people who can cut like this in one swoop, like they're trying to stab you? I can't do that. My mom can, and I'm always impressed. But I think it comes down to confidence. Right, you have to believe you can do it in one cut. You ever see the videos of people um, drawing circles and they use their whole elbow and they get it perfect? They can do it because one, they're drawing circles the proper way because your elbow is a ball joint, so it fully rotates. I shouldn't be waving the scissors. Um, but it's confident. You have to be a Giga Chad and just do it in full confidence. And I'm not gonna do that. It depends on the scissors too. Yeah, if they're super sharp, then you can do it. Yeah, these are go. These are bad scissors. I cut halfway and let it glide. Dude, I wish I could do that shit. But my scissors always don't. Okay, now we have successfully. You are going to put your present face side down in the center of where you wrapped it. Now, you don't want too much of a lot of them. I'm probably doing this wrong, but I think this way looks the best. Okay. Now, on this end that I'm folding onto the short side, I'm gonna have it overlapping about halfway. So I'm gonna trim off the excess on this side. Um, are you guys taking notes? There will be a quiz later. And if you do, if you fail the quiz, then you're automatically getting on the naughty list and you are taken off the tree. You know, that's just the rule. As Santa helper, just that's the rule. Do not throw away or crumple any excess wrapping paper. You can use this for scrapbooking. Your grandma will love it. The paper's torn. Now, if you measured correctly, there should be at least a one inch overlap, which I have a three inch overlap. But you know what? That's okay. I'm where did I put my tape over here. This is the most difficult part of the day because it's the largest. Okay, you know what I think is cringe? When you get a present and they they shake it. Because what if it's fragile and then you break it and it's your fault that it breaks? I never shake presents. Okay, so now that we have the ends, you're gonna tuck your fingers from the side and then pull. And pull back up. Perfect. I will show it again. If you missed it, flip it if you missed it. Perfect. I repeat, you tuck your finger in the center from the side. Then you get like two little triangle sheets. Grease. And then fold over. Ooh, this one came out perfect. Oh, shit. Look. Look at that. A perfectly wrapped gift. Number one complete. Three more. That fit perfectly. This bag is like as tall as me. Look. It's like my whole torso. I usually don't put um, tissue paper in gifts because I think it's wasteful. I've never liked the idea of like packaging that's wasteful or that you immediately throw away. I think that's really bad. Because think about the trees and the turtles, right?
I'll do this next because this is my second biggest. And this is still a rectangular shape. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna like wrap into the way. I don't like that. That's not gonna fit well. Probably look best if I fold like this. Yeah, it's gonna be sad. Maybe this one works. Yeah, I can maybe wrap this like this. Oh, I gotta change the title. Mods, I gotta change the title. Nice and tight. Okay, now usually the strap for like round or cylindrical is you wrap it in like it doesn't fully cover. No. <laughs> the paper's not long enough. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's not it's not full coverage at all. Okay. I'm gonna have to get some new paper. This one was not it. Not it. Oh my god. I accidentally minimized my tabs. Okay, we're good. Imagine I end stream. Would that be a good clip? Okay, I need to get my mouse away. Aw, thank you, Giorgio. I appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out today. But we will see you next time. I'm gonna be live next week. Hi Toad, welcome in. Can we get some peace side to yours for Toad? Welcome in. Solid clip would do numbers. <laughs> but if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, Toad. So this one, I have to wait for a larger piece of paper. I can probably, I can, yes, I can wrap this bean boozle, this bean boozle with the scrap paper. And I'm literally never gonna know what this is. Toad is good? Okay, let's do Toad. Can he him? Got a box. We also have follower emails, so feel free and use them as well. Okay, I'm gonna trim. Instead of folding with the crease, I'm just gonna fold over. I almost cut the bag. That could have been really bad. And I think this tape is almost out too. see the seams on the back but that's the back so it's fine present number two done we can always save this for our grandma so we're gonna set this aside
Let's do... Bro, I hate my friend. The, the friend that we're wrapping the presents for. So their birthday is two days after Christmas. No, it's the day after Christmas, okay? And I was like, hey, are you going to be home for your birthday? I want to get you a cake delivered. Keep in mind, bank is broke, but I can afford it in January because I'm using my credit card. And they were like, no, I don't want you to buy me cake. How about we go out to a dinner and then I pay? What do I reply back? <laughs> do I say, no, bitch, I'm buying you a cake? Or do I say, fine? I don't know what to do. I'm conflicted. Did I feel bad? Because, like, with my income from Twitch, I'm eligible for a payout every month, basically, which is super nice. Thank you, Oilers. Thank you, Oilers. Um, but it's like, I still want to, like, treat people. You know, I love treating people. I love buying for people. If I were a rich bitch, I'd pay for everything. The cake will be bought and they feel appreciated. I know, but then it's like... I feel bad. Cause like, I haven't ordered the cake yet, so it's kind of too late to get a custom one, so I'd have to get like a, a generic one for them. Which I know they don't mind. They'd be fine with that. But it's still like... I want to like get them a cake. But then if we go in person, we can like go to a bakery and they can choose that a cake in person. I think that also be fun. That'd be a good compromise, right? Because if you don't agree with something, whether it be with your friends or a partner, you find a compromise. You find a middle. So should I- oh, the tape's out! Oh, no, I'm out of tape. This is also from my sister's room. Nobody tell her, nobody tell her. So should I be like, fine, we can go out to dinner, but on the way home, Wait, bakeries usually close at like 2 p.m. What? Um. Another time we can go to a bakery together. And buy the cake. I think that'd be. No self report? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? What did I do? What am I gonna do? Oh. They literally don't watch the stream. I asked them. Oh, this is so fucking cringe. Okay, so usually when people are grinding for affiliate, they be like, hey, friend, can you have a tab open so I get an extra viewer? I never did that because I view that as view farming and that's cringe. If people want to watch you, they'll watch you. If you have 10 viewers, that's great. If you have zero, zero, that's fine. Um, because I only really started getting viewers when I changed my commentary and it worked. Um, I remember I was like, hey, Best friend, do you think you can watch my Valentine's Day stream? I think you'd find it funny. And they were like, no, I don't want to just keep the tab open for you. I was like, no, I'm literally I'm literally not doing that. I just I genuinely think you'll enjoy it because I think it's gonna be fucking funny. <laughs> um so anyway, they don't have a Twitch anyway, so it don't matter. But yeah, so they're not gonna watch this. People hey if you somehow watch this. The firing out organically is best. Yes, I agree. I agree with the take that getting affiliate is easy, but it's only easy. It's only easy if you rely on people that you know. Because the way to grow on Twitch, write this down, write this down. The way to grow on Twitch is you pop off somehow. You somehow people find you in the algorithm on Twitch, which never happens, or you post other social media, or you network with other streamers. But the problem with networking with other streamers early on is that you rely on each other for your views, your income, subs and bits, and it gives very follow for follow vibes. And it's not a good way to grow. I've been streaming for a year and a half. If I networked more, I'd probably have more followers. I'd have more viewers. But would they be genuine viewers? Probably not. Because having a tab open to be nice, in my opinion, is not the way to go. Because if you have a dead chat, you are a dead stream. If you have 10 viewers and nobody's chatting, something's wrong, okay? Something's wrong. 
either they're all lurking, which is fine, which is fine, but are they genuinely enjoying what you're doing? Because to me, stream content at its core is content that is meant to be engaged with. So if people aren't engaging with your stream, you need to change it up. Yes, bigger number is cool and pog, but as I talked about earlier, when you're a small streamer or if you have less than three viewers, or a lot of people still have this problem when they start averaging more than three, is they rely fully on their chat room for their commentary. It took me a long time to learn this. It took me six months to be eligible for affiliate. I could have gotten it sooner, but I chose not to rely on friends for viewership. Because I knew, I knew that when I started doing that, or if I were to start doing that, I need to get more tape. Then, um, you're relying on your analytics to feel like you're doing well, and then you get complacent. Because like I said, if you have 10 viewers and nobody's chatting, something's wrong. Those people don't probably like you. Because if they genuinely want you to succeed, they would only watch you because they want to watch you. You should not watch anybody just to keep a connection. That's cringe. I know I say cringe a lot, but I think cringe is the most basic way to explain it. I'm a chronic lurker, but live, but it's live streaming for a reason. Yeah. If nobody's chatting, then it's basically a YouTube video, a very boring YouTube video, because stream content is not super energetic. It's not usually super um, condensed in the sense of. Like an edited YouTube video has a format, it has, it's more punchy, but a stream is meant to be slower. And if you don't know how to fill that time, then you need to learn how to fill that time. So just having an average viewer count that is decent is not good. I don't know. It's a very, like, controversial take that I have, and a few people, like, other streamers don't like my take, but... They're all jealous of how active my chat room is. I know some people are new, so they don't necessarily know my full perspective on it. But if I have a really active chat room, like, if I'm averaging, let's say, 10 viewers and I have 6 people chatting, that is a really good ratio. Usually, for most streams, only 10% of your viewer base will actually chat. Like, if you're watching somebody who has 100k viewers, not all 100,000 people are chatting. That'd be, yeah. Um, but my chat room is really active. Because, even if I average less than 10 viewers, most of my viewers are chatting. Because. When you, <laughs> this is gonna be me. But when you pick and choose who you decide to engage with in your chat room, you control your commentary, you control your narrative. You control the content as a streamer. So if I have six people chatting, and I'm choosing which chat messages to bounce off of, then if I have three people who have messages that I do like, and three people who don't get read every single message, they will learn over time how to chat to my style. I'm sure some people who maybe have followed recently have figured it out. And that's great. Like, I feel bad ignoring people sometimes, but most of my regular chatters understand it. And they know that if they want my attention, they kind of gotta work for it. Because as the streamer, you can't rely on your chat room for all of your commentary. Because then it'd be boring. Then you're just texting back and forth. It's boring. Oh, did I wrap everything? No way! So, don't ever feel bad if I ignore you. I'm not intentionally ignoring you. I read everything in the chat. I read it. I just don't read it out loud. Because if your whole stream is reading every single fucking message, it's boring as fuck. 
if you're reading every single message out loud, it's not encouraging um, your chat room to say entertaining or funny things. It's not... Because, like, don't you feel special when the streamer acknowledges your message or if they laugh out loud at it? And if I did that with every single message, if I did that with everybody, wouldn't it not be special? I understand that I'm very small. I am very small. But a lot of my current viewers and active chatters, or people who work with them, they understand it and they learn over time why I choose to operate that way. Anyway, that's my TED talk. Be a good streamer. I'm a who my glow. I average less than 10 and that's fine. But I'm happy with that. You ever be in a chat room with 100 viewers and they have like five chatters? That's cringe as fuck. Really? 85 lurkers for a small channel? It's not good. Anyway, I have all my presents wrapped. They are... Dude, this is really heavy. They are bagged and ready to go. I think I'll make a Christmas card off stream tomorrow. I'll do it off stream. Hmm. What now? What now? Peace, I too. Hmm. I think now we can do watch alongs. Because, um, I'll link it in chat as well for people coming in. But Cartoon Network is streaming on YouTube all of the holiday Christmas specials? Ain't no way. So I think we can watch some of those. Let me find the link. And anyway, that was my TED Talk. I have very, like, controversial opinions, and it's kind of weird coming from somebody like me who, um, isn't big or who hasn't popped off, but I think the best analogy that I will use... Oh, why am I using my mouse? It's on my fucking TV. Um is imagine a small streamer do you genuinely think that they can handle a hundred viewers a thousand viewers and if you don't think they can handle it then they're not meant for it do you think they could entertain all a hundred people all a thousand people based on how their content is now i genuinely think if i had a hundred viewers i could keep it entertaining because obviously, when you get to that point, you can't give all a thousand people your attention. Because you have to understand that um, you have to make sure it's entertaining for everybody, collectively. Okay, I have... So... Oh, okay. So, I'm going to mute the Christmas music. Because how watch-alongs work is, and it's actually nice because since I'm going to be watching a YouTube live stream, all you need is the link. So let me find it. And I, I can't screen cap it because since these are still licensed video, I can't screen cap it. I can't stream the audio on Twitch, but you can have the link open in another tab. Kind of like if we were to do like a Netflix watch along. Okay, so the video I have pinned now in chat is Cartoon Network's holiday special episodes. It's streaming on YouTube. So if you're watching on desktop, you can open a new tab and have the YouTube video open. And basically we're gonna wait out until Santa gets here. Right now it is nine o'clock. So Santa will be here any minute, hopefully, cause I don't wanna be in bed by 10. Bye, 10. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, because I have it casted to my TV. So I can hear it from my TV. That way I get nice audio. So chatters, if you want to watch along, just click the link in the pin chat. Open it in another tab. And it's almost like we're watching TV together. Cute. 
Okay, let's change our title. It feels weird streaming for this late. I usually never stream this late. <laughs> Sorry. One of the Sorry, one of the guys says fucking nibbles out. <laughs> Dude, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. If anybody's watching along, tell me if you're watching along. That way, I know it works. <laughs> Okay, let's change our title. I'm seeing the various shirtless men. I know. I feel like a lot of cartoons aren't necessarily super kid friendly. And it's kind of sus, not gonna lie. Okay. Let's say. Hmm. Let's change where this is. Because I'm going to sit on the couch for now. <sighs> Not that I'm a good person, Capo. Okay, cool. Chatters, you know what else it's time for? I'm motherfucking ad. So, because we are five hours into stream. If you want to avoid that ad, all you got to do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your copy and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Let's go. Anyway, get some water, get a snack. We will see some chatters in a few. Okay, I'm going to post on Twitter that we're live again. That way people know we're finally doing cartoon time. Even though it's literally midnight for everybody else. <laughs> Candy wipe? Oh, I forgot this show. They have like a lot of like 3D elements in it. Dude, it's weird, because a lot of the audio is, like, in my left ear. Oh! Because there's, like, directional hearing, which I'm not used to with my TV. you never seen an actual episode of the show? My sister loved this one. I didn't mind it. It was fine. Dude, so many fucking nipples. Why are there so many nipples? Anyway, like, I'm not used to, like, listening to TV shows without, with surround sound. Like, I never had a surround sound system. So this is fucking wild with the headsets. It feels so loud. I know. Like that one scene where the guy was rumbling out of the water. I could hear it in the back of my head. <laughs> the, the way the tongue. I 
I do love in cartoons when they combine like 2D aesthetics with like hyper realistic drawn backgrounds. Sorry, my couch creaked. Okay, I'm tweeting that we're live. <laughs> I got distracted. Help, I can't fall asleep. Uh, we're watching cartoons. Maybe you can fall asleep then. Click the pink chat for the video link. Dude, Dennis looks like he's fucking naked. <laughs> uh oh. Ruh -roh. What is this? Is it like gumball or something? Uh, chatters, new tweet, new tweet, go like it, go like it, go retweet. Let everybody know that we're still live. I have a new tweet. How is this a Christmas special? I'm clueless. Dude, how is Santa only in New York? How? He's making the rounds just not fast enough? I agree. He needs to pick it up. Because I, I'm going to fall asleep. Doesn't he sound like Mr. Krabs? My eyes won't do the sleeping thing. Um, have you tried melatonin? It works for me, but it gives me nightmares. I like the texture of the outlines of the characters. Sorry, whenever I watch a show, I always look at, like, the artistic side. I'm in art school. I'm annoying. <laughs> See you next week. Okay, bye, Crystal. Thank you for coming in. Get some sleep, hon. I mean, hopefully Santa gets here soon. Apparently he's on the East Coast. Right? East Coast. He does sound like Mr. Krabs. He does. <gasps> A Christmas miracle?
You know what's interesting about this show? There's not a lot of bright colors. It's very dark. Can't watch a horror movie without thinking about the SFX behind it. I know, right? That's why I love watching stuff in theaters. Peace I to stop. <laughs> so much fucking nipples. <laughs> why? Mm, peace I to hmm. <laughs> Dude, I love farming emotes. <laughs> Silly. I love his voice. You ever have the urge, like, when you're watching TV, you just feel like you have to be, like, super distracted? And then you're, like, scrolling IG or TikTok? <gasps> Ain't no way. Monka W. Also, I don't know if you're watching on desktop mats, but you seem like a chatter who would love the third party extensions. Check them out. Smile, peace I do smile. <laughs> peace I do evil smile more like. <laughs> Oh, chatter. Chatter is so much better. It's so much better. Chatter is so much better. Chatter's good. Hey, hey, it's Knishmas, huh? PSA 2, huh? Wait, I just realized this is horrible for VOD watchers. Um, VOD watchers, just skip to when Santa comes. Bro! <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I just realized I didn't eat dinner. Oopsie. I had a big lunch, though. Maybe I should get a snack. Should I get a snack? I'll wait a bit. I'll wait a bit. Dude, if I had popcorn... Why does he need a trimmer? I thought that was for adults. I love how they color the characters. Dude, he's kind of like a little shit, though. Hey, yo. I agree. It does look kind of weird, but I think it's a really cool effect. Hmm. 
it reminds me of like manga panels where a character is wearing like a a flannel shirt, but like the 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 paneling for the fill in is all the same. Like it's all flat. Like if you're wearing plaid, it's not gonna be like all vertical. There's gonna be like some direction to the plaid. But I think it's cool when it's like just a solid fill. It kind of forces your eyes to look at it, right? And I think that's why they chose the style for this. Because the show is very colorful. Like, the characters in the background are very bright. But since the textures are static, it makes it look like they're moving more. It's a very interesting art choice. Or design choice. I joked. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm sure somebody has made edits of being like, begun thought. Ew, what the fuck? Well, I don't know any of these characters' names. I'm literally clueless. It looks and sounds funny, so I'm entertained. Actual child. <laughs> right around. <rider. Dude, me reading the Naughty or Nice list is literally, like, three feet long. And we didn't even get, like, a quarter of the way through with the Naughty or Nice reviews. That's pretty mean. But why is the child want a trimmer? Dude, why is he touching a child? I always go weirded out by the people who like want to be mall Santas, you know? Dude, he's literally so annoying. Yeah, just the idea of touching a stranger is kind of scary to me. Like, especially during pandemic, like, bro. I get anxious going to the store sometimes. A grown man? Why are... <laughs> Where's Santa at now? He's still on the fucking East Coast. I hate him. Okay, before anyone asks, I do have two phones. 
This one is my like contact phone, and then this one is my social media phone. Because I noticed when I put my social media onto a different phone, my mental health was better. Keep in mind, I bought this newer phone when I had money, and it had more storage space because since I usually batch edit my TikToks, it takes so much fucking memory space. Because, like, this phone can only really store, like, five videos, so I, there's no way I could post and upload with this old phone. It's a major bread house. Holy moly, what the fuck? Dude, why was he drawing some smut? Oh, what the fuck? He said he was gonna throw it away. Oh my god, are they banging? I'm so immature. I. It's so hard not. It, it's legitimately so hard to like keep my commentary PG 13. It's legitimately so hard. And the reason why I keep it 13 plus or minus 13, fuck. 13 plus commentary is because I think it's very easy for a lot of women to lean into the vulgarity shtick. And I know why people like it. And I don't want to attract that audience, so I try my best not to make jokes, but it's really hard to make jokes. Um, Bob Watchers, he said, bust a move, and I really wanted to say something else. <laughs> Plot twist, we told the Bob Watchers to skip this part of stream, so they'll never see it. If you're here, you're here. He missed us. That's a weird cut. Green's not. <laughs> oh, I thought that was real. I wanted it to be real. Sorry, I'm texting my sister. I'm like, mod check, where are you? Dude, Seattle right now? Have, have you guys seen like the clips of people sliding down the streets in Seattle? <laughs> Granted, where, where I live, it's not that bad. It's all melted now. But it's so fucking funny. People scooting on their asses. <laughs> Literally all the shops near me are out of like ice salt though. So it's kind of like, what do we do? Granted, I'm near a more like populous area. So like all the, oh my God. Dude, dead ass, her legs. I, I got so scared. 
Holy. Dude, that's just like the people with the anime AI filter putting, like, their knuckles <laughs> to, to get, like, a risque anime girl. Oh my god. Dude, her legs. Children, turn away. Holy. There, there are so many, like, perverted undertones in cartoons. Like, watching bad cartoons or kids' movies, there are so many jokes that you don't get. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I haven't watched this show in, like, ten years. Oh my god! What the fuck? What was I cutting? That's like some brainwashing shit. Just right in his ass. <laughs> oh my god. Holy moly. You know, it's just, you know, it's sick. There's no fucking ads. Because this is technically like a YouTube kid stream. That's why there's no ads. I also have YouTube Premium. Hashtag not sponsored. What happened to Chowder for him to think this way? Because, like, I watched some of these cartoons, and, like, the younger characters are, like, actual crazy. They're actually, like, crazy. And I just think, like, what happened? Then Oh, dude, why did they animate the tongue like that?
<laughs> stop it, stop it. 13 plus chat. Dude, Mads is my new favorite chatter. Mads is my favorite. Oh wait, they're together? Wait, what? She just chokes them in her sleep. Okay, how how do like the producers come up with these episode plots? I I'm clueless. I feel like all the writers just get high on marijuana if it's legal in their state, of course. Or if they're taking ex an experimental um shroom program and then they concept out these episodes. Okay, I've never had dreams this crazy, though. I have normal-ass dreams where, like, I get killed or I die. Those are my dreams. I don't dream this shit. Okay, I've been looking at my computer chat screen and be like, I can't fucking read chat without squinting. I just realized I can zoom in. Wow, I'm so smart. Okay, zooming in did not really help. <laughs> <laughs> it did not help. It did not help. Because in order to see everything that I need to see, I can't see shit. Okay, maybe I can change. Uh... So smart, yeah, I'm a genius. Okay, let's... Oh, I think I figured it out. There we go. There we go. Ooh, that's actually kind of interesting layout. There we go. Now I can actually see Chow without squinting. I had to change my overlay setup. Don't you feel better? Dude, when's Santa gonna get here? <gasps> oh my god! This is one of my favorites. If you're just coming in, click the pinned chat message to get the video link. I almost said the backyardia backyardigans, but that's not it. That's the wrong. Isn't this like the kid next door or some shit? I don't remember the name, but I remember the characters. Rainbow Christmas? That sounds fucking gauge. We're painting? We're painting? <laughs> Is he smoking? I hope it's one of those like smarty rappers. Dude, that monkey literally has a rainbow on it. Dude, they're committing domestic terrorism.
<laughs> Bro. Bro. Oh my god, is Tectone live? Sorry. <laughs> Dude, what are they doing? I just realized how dark I look on camera. Like, my camera settings aren't bright enough. But you know, that's part of the vibe. Right? Right. <gasps> OP time! The, like, the little snow overlay. <laughs> Dude, he's so wicked. Look at him. He's got glasses on. Oh, kid next door. Okay, I was right. I was right. Is he Australian? They bang. I know they bang. Hey, Rocket. Welcome in. Like, 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 number three? Oh my god, he's a Scrooge! Dude, he's a fake friend! He is so fake. I appreciate Rocket, but if it doesn't work, it's fine. It's okay. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Oh, I thought they crashed the whole fucking tree. Oh, that's their base. I'm clueless. I haven't watched the show in ages. I don't know the lore. Bub. <laughs> no narcs, no snitches. You'd arm the children. That's exactly what we need. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <gasps> Dude, honestly, go for the feet and wrists. That is the way to go. An Aussie anime. I don't feel crazy. Dude, 
Dude, okay, that was sick. The fucking candy cane nails? Crazy. Dude, they hid the nipples. Good on them. We saw way too many nipples last episode. Is that Smeagol? <laughs> I love the super long sleeve she has. It's so cute. Dude, the pacing is, like, crazy. I didn't realize how, like, quickly you could say the story moves in cartoons. Like, it's perfect for my, like, ADD brain. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Okay, there was this kid in my junior high where he would pants himself in gym class. Like, he'd walk out of the locker room, pull his shorts down, and be like, oh no! But he would pants himself. Obviously, he was baiting for attention, right? <laughs> Dude, crazy ass shit. To pull your pants up! Dude, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, she probably spent like all of her chore money. Yeah, I agree. He does not deserve a collectible. <laughs> what? What? Oh. 
Why is it in Spanish? Continue on the transmission. They give me private school kid vibes. The guild said he's never coming tonight. How is Santa still on the East Coast? Oh, wait, he moved. What the fuck? What? Oh, he's going to the central US. I clicked off the tab, that's why I wasn't capturing it. Oopsie. See, I helped Santa. I helped him with like 50 chatters. I mean, I don't think he distributes the presents. Like if there's 100 kids and 99 are bad, I don't think he gives all 100 presents to that one good kid. He probably still distributes them like evenly. Isn't this episode alluding to, like, anti-socialism? <laughs> oh my god, he said but Deviant? Art? <laughs> Dude, this lady's a debate, Andy. with this. Okay, that's actually crazy how we came back together.
like they just <laughs> that's what you get for staying next to the tree waiting for Santa you're just not supposed to see him Sorry, I, the accent is so good. It's so good. <laughs> Uh-oh. I was doing actually good. But why him? With the power of love. Oh my god, are they gonna bang? <laughs> Dude, if my homie Got me fucking french fries. We would not be friends. Why would they need to take their tree, like, out of everything? They have the whole planet. I 
I've never seen Ben 10. That's a 3D car. In that wide shot, it was a 3D car. It's always so off-putting whenever you see 3D graphics next to 2D. It's obvious, and it bothers me. I understand it's easier for production. But I don't like the look of combining the two styles. So I would make it all 2D or all 3D. It's different if it's like stylized. Like, you know, the, the animated Spider-Man movie? The sequel that's coming out this year? Like, the aesthetics in that movie, like, it's intentional, right? Like, that was an intentional design choice versus something like this. They obviously use 3D elements to quicken the production process. But obviously, kids don't give a shit. They're like, whoa, a car? I remember I would see the previews for Ben 10, and I get scared. That's why I never watched it. Yeah, the monsters are scary. Look at them in the OP. They're scary. Oh my god, vector illustrations. I imagine action shots in this show probably go crazy. Oh my god, I loved Johnny Test. I love the show so much. He's like, the government makes the weather, we're the snow machines. <laughs> Dude, what time is it? Where's Santa? It's 10. Dude, he's in the middle of the ocean. What the fuck? It's probably so difficult to assemble like those massive trees you see in parks. I wonder how much they get paid. You know who else needs to get paid? Me. Because Shatters, we are another hour into stream or six hours in so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads but you can avoid that ad by subscribing for 4.99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or you can thank your amazon prime on your twitch and hashtag stuff for with prime click subscribe see if you have a prime available after the ad we're gonna keep waiting 
hopefully Santa gets here soon because I would love to go to bed. But we're going to keep chilling, you know, fall asleep to cartoons, of course. And make it some water, get a snack, get boomed the non-subs. Oh yeah, I said I was going to get a snack myself, but it's 10 p.m. I shouldn't eat. I should probably get more water. I don't know. I have enough water in my cup. Because, like, I'm trying not to keep food in my room. Because I notice when I keep food, like, snacks in my room, then I eat more throughout the day, and that's not good. Like, I don't need more than my allotted calories. Oh, I just realized in my tweet, I said I have a special gift for chat. <laughs> what if I lied? What if I lied? I mean, you guys will see. M maybe Santa will give you guys a treat, because, huh? Oopsie. You know, my presence is a gift, right? I'm sure Santa will have something for you guys. I'm sure. Clueless. Wait, are they evil? I looked away for one minute. Oh, sad. Dude, they just kidnapped him. Bro, is Santa going to fucking Hawaii first before the West Coast? Ain't no way. Oh, that's not Hawaii. <laughs> I'm DUM. I'm DUM. Oh, yummy children. I love them. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for hanging out today, Matt. I mean, I'm sure Santa will get here soon. Maybe within the next hour, hopefully, because I'm going to probably crash at 11. But thank you for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Enjoy the emails, and it was a pleasure chatting. Do the voice. Dude, they didn't even show the kick on screen. That was a weird shot.
We speak American here. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't that, like, actually torture? Like, tickling somebody? yesterday Easy. <laughs> Why Europe? Weird joke. Do that be in the background? Kind of nice. Dude, they fucking died. Capitalism is great. A happy elf? Wait, a busy elf is a happy elf.
the toys that like poop and shit or piss or throw up, I never understood. I never wanted one of those when I was younger. Oh my god, hi Peason's biggest fan. Welcome in. If you want to watch along, click the pinned message in chat. Hopefully Santa gets there soon. I don't know where the fuck he is. Oh wait, he's in Mexico. <laughs> Dude, the directional hearing is crazy. Wait, it's just like Mario! That one level that I hated. With the moving platforms. I think this is actually like a Mario reference. Let's just start at the end. It has to be. Yeah, I think after this episode, I'm going to get some water, which I have to go downstairs to get, so it might take a minute or two when I go. Slave labor you've done.
Do I hate his voice? Oh my god, Elf AU? Do that 3D card. It's so weird. Oh my god, where's Santa now? Is he in the Midwest? Oh my god, he's in the... Well, I don't know where the fuck that is. Texas? Oh my god, no fucking way. Okay, wait, I have to watch the Teen Titans. No fucking way. No way. Wait, is this Teen Titans go... I'm disappointed. I- okay, I didn't mind Teen Titans Go, but it's not the best. Okay, I said I was gonna get water after that episode, but I- I want to see this one. I know Teen Titans Go is, like, incomparable to the original, but it's obviously meant for, like, a younger audience. It's meant to be, like, fun. It's kind of like, um, the Avatar, the Last Airbender, and then the Legend of Korra. Like, it's for different target demographics. But I do like the style of Teen Titans Go. Like, if this were airing when I was younger, I would have loved it. Bro, how do they have flies already? Okay, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go get more water. So, I will be right back. Everybody behave, okay? And if anything happens when I'm gone, make sure to tell me, okay?
Yo. I'm back. Hey. Hold. There's something new here. There is something under the tree. No way. <laughs> also, it seems like when I was gone, someone gifted five on my account. I wonder who that was. Anybody know what happened? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Damn, I guess Santa came early this year, huh? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> jokes over, jokes over. This cringe bit, cringe bit. I thought it was funny. I remember. <laughs> but, chatters, I hope you enjoy the five gifted. It went out to Toad, who chatted earlier, and then some recent follows. Enjoy those five gifted. It's a gift from Meg Esports and Peace in 17. Why is the cup there? I hate that. But I think that concludes today's stream. Um, I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatter slickers. Um, we do have some calligraphy to do. So we can do that really quick. Because I am tired. <laughs> I told my sister I'd be done streaming by 10.30, and it's literally 10.30, so let's get calligraphy done and call it a day. <laughs> was the bit good? Was it cringe? Was it good? I, I was telling my sister the bit, and it's, like, funny, but also good, you know? <laughs> okay, let's do calligraphy now. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I felt sad because I really wanted to watch the Teen Titans Go episode, but I had to walk away. Wait, dude, the episode is fucking quick. Wait, what? what is this? Total Drama Island Kids? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is- What? What is this, huh? Dude, I've never heard of this. The fuck? Okay, so I tried to give every stocking a peppermint, but I ran out of peppermints. Sad. Okay, I think I'll put music back on. There we go. But I kind of want to turn the TV off. I need to minimize my screen time. You guys can keep watching the video if you want, but I'm gonna turn it off for me. It won't affect you guys. You can still have a tab open. Dude, my stomach is growling. Okay, let's do a calligraphy. I have so much cleanup to do. Literally so much cleanup. We're not gonna have POV cam, but you can see like a little bit here. under the tree over the next few days because we got I am grumbling right now we got 10 we got a lot of gifted today it's fucking we have 19 gifted oh my god you guys are crazy so I will be cutting presents over the weekend that way we can do the reveal next week y'all are crazy so right now we're doing calligraphy 
if you donate or use your channel points, I'll write your name. Change the title. I can't even see that far from my screen. Should I get new glasses, type 1? <laughs> okay, let's see. Up second cam, but I, I genuinely, I genuinely don't want it because I'm scared that I'll leave. Because <laughs> not that I have anything bad on my floor, but you're just gonna see like all the clutter I have everywhere. So, oopsie. close up on the camera when we're done.
It's so nice to like have the full table to write on. Because like my stream setup is still kind of cramped. I do need another table, which I have. I'm probably gonna assemble tomorrow. But this is nice. Being able to like fully work like this, arms on the table. It's been a while. Yeah, I genuinely can't see the names. I think that was all the names I have for today. So if anybody else wants to redeem, do so now. You can use your channel points or donate to the channel. <laughs> Minus $25. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. So, I think that concludes today's stream. I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, any lurkers. I appreciate you all for hanging out today. I know not everybody has somebody to celebrate the holidays with. And I would like to thank everybody who came in the stream today for hanging out for a little bit. Or if you were here for most of the stream genuinely. Thank you. Um, this year was hard for me, but I'm glad there will always be somebody, whether it be like online or IRL, who wants to spend time with me. So thank you. Okay, I should be live again, possibly this upcoming Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday, the latest for sure. So yeah. 
Once again, thank you to Mac, Titans, and Nyx for your donations. I appreciate it. Meg Esports is going to spend a lot in January. <laughs> I do have to buy a new game for January because we need a new Wednesday slot. But anyway, I hope you all have a good night. Wait. And he wished them all... A Merry Christmas, and to all, a good night. Happy Christmas for real. Yeah, it's 1045. Welcome in, Deacon. We are literally ending stream. Lamau. <laughs> well, welcome in, hun. We just had a long one. We saw Santa. Ain't no way. What time is it for you? It's 645? Oh, it's still early. You're probably waking up to presents, huh? Okay, anyway, I gotta go. I gotta get some sleep. I have to paint all day tomorrow. But I will see you guys then. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you.